Sophie and Anthony are no strangers to scandal. Sophie and Anthony on satellite radio. Satellite radio. Apparently, Opie and Anthony are dicks. Oh, here they go again. It's a fun, dopey radio show. Not just any radio show. A radio show that inspires beyond your wildest dreams. The show was a lot funnier on any W. The show's hosts, Anthony Camilla and Greg Opie Hughes. Controversial team. Six years without getting fired, a new record for us. It's just a... <laughs> Sounding to me. I didn't even want to say it's racist, but goddamn. This show will rock as best as we could possibly do this radio show. I'm gonna go home and whack to a tranny later. There you go, right? God, we just lost our demo, man. What's wrong with you? He's just the last straw for the watching radio duo. The Opie and Anthony show. The most popular show in the history of satellite radio. But enough of this palaver. Let's get the show on the road. Hey! Morning! There, it is. Uh, there we go. My, nice. my, volume. my jets are in trouble. Ay. Follow them. My jets are in trouble. Ay. I, uh, oh. I never had much confidence in that team. What are you talking about? Nah, They're your jets. Nah, nah, nah They're not nah. your jets anymore? Nah, I've never uh, really been a fan. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Jets are in trouble. In big trouble. Why, you didn't like the... We haven't scored a touchdown in uh, what eight quarters now. I like their defense. Maybe more. Their defensive plays are nice, even for people that aren't you know playing. Oh. That's uh, you know that mean, turn out well. What happened? You haven't. Oh. It's the big thing oh, today. Oh it's, oh, it's hysterical. It's the front page of the paper. Dumb Jets. <laughs> what was it? The uh, what was it? It was the exercise guy for the Jets. Yeah, he wasn't a uh, the coordinator. You know, one of the coordinators. One of the coordinators. He. He tripped one of the Dolphins players as he's running down the sideline. As he's running down the sideline, he, like no one's going to see that. He he put his knee out and need the guy, and the guy went down. I say the guy. I don't have all the names from in front the sideline. Yeah, and openly admitted it. He said he just fucking like panicked or not even panicked. He, lost his mind. He lost his mind. Like lost everyone else is losing mind. their mind uh, over the Jets. So he pu- he puts his knee out and the guy trips. Go to the sports section. There's a there's a still of it. I know they're your team, and I want to see them do well, but I, I have such a, a hatred for that organization. Yeah, the <laughs> they with... fuck their fans every time. Well, every yeah. time. But I would man. love to see them win for you. Yeah, there's the uh, clip right every there. Every year. Sam's got it up on the uh, little video monitoring yeah, system. Uh... Uh, Jets Dolphins game show coach. What's a show coach? Uh, Sal Alosi. Sticking his left knee out, tripping Miami returner Nolan Carroll. Who tumbled to the ground, temporarily injured. Well, that wasn't a very good shot of the, um, the huh? episode. What happened? Okay. Here we, no. They're not showing the uh, actual. Yeah. Why wouldn't they show it? Maybe, maybe the they Jets show receiving. that, that was later. A... Oh. No, I've seen it. Yeah, look. I Best mean, photo There's the still shot. He actually put his left leg out and, and tripped him. Yeah, here you go. Oh, no. Let me see. Yeah. So he's running down the sideline. Oh, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That guy is so fired. So completely and utterly fired. People are talking about a fine, a suspension. This guy you can see is him put so his knee out. fired. He slowly snuck his knee out and uh, nailed him. You, you can't do that and, and expect to continue in football as a coach, a coach's assistant, Ouch. whatever the hell this guy does. Didn't someone do that years and years and years ago from Alabama? Sure, something? every once in a while you get somebody that does this. Yeah. What a jerk off. What an idiot, right? But you can't even think that he's do no one would do that and think they're going to get away with it. No, you have but, you have to know that no, <laughs> maybe someone's watching. <laughs> yeah, you know, the guy understands that. He admitted it wow. pretty much r- right away and said I just lost my mind. Okay. He goes, I lost my mind. I, I don't have a good excuse. I just uh, lost the it. insanity plea. Nice. Yeah, so Jets go down to the Dolphins. What the fuck? Ten to six. The Dolphins. Are they terrible this year? Uh, they're not good. The news was making a big uh, to-do about how the uh, New York Rangers scored more points than the oh, Jets really? did yesterday. That's, that's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> so <Ow>. funny. <laughs> So, man, yeah. but more, they, uh, more importantly, we haven't scored a touchdown in a while. Did you see the game? 
Uh, no, I didn't see the game. Did I you saw, see home I drop, saw highlights and did shit. Did you see the drop pass? Oh, yeah, yeah. I saw all the important things. That drop pass, he was so open. But th- that happens a lot when a guy is so wide open. Yeah. Something happens in his brain like, oh, my just, God, I'm t- ah! It's like, I, I have, there's no way I can miss this. <laughs> right. I think you jinx yourself in that split second the ball's coming at you. You're like, I'm so wide open. There's no way I'm missing this. But, man, you, you throw a rocket and they have to tiptoe uh, oh, man. the, the sidelines. They have no the problem. Needle right, between two those. defenders, they're right there. Bam! But yeah. you float one to one of these guys where he's just basically waiting for it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Your I'm brain not. has too many, t- too much time to think. I guess. Yeah. Drops it. Well, Holmes, who's uh, been an animal the last uh, few weeks. We'll uh, we'll see if the Jets. I, I don't think they fully recovered from that uh, devastating loss of uh, last week. Oh, uh, to the Patriots, forty-five-three, yeah. and now ten-six. So yeah, so the Jets haven't scored a touchdown in, in at least eight quarters. Eight quarters, at least. And uh, you're talking about the Woody Hayes play, I guess. Which one's that? Uh, you said didn't this happen years ago, Brian oh, yeah, in yeah. Maryland? Real fast, go ahead. Yeah, Woody Hayes ended his career by choking the opposing team's player after they intercepted against Ohio State. <laughs> I don't remember the choking one. I know there was some kind of coach from Alabama, and uh, a guy was running down the sidelines, and he didn't even trip. He jumped out and tackled the motherfucker uh, right there when he's running. Down. It's one of those old, old clips. Uh, Bear Bryant? It's got to be Bear Bryant. Is it Bear Bryant? Tackled the guy once. Uh, Ohio State coach punched a player once. I remember that. So every once in a while, you get some action on the sideline. Yeah. But this guy, what the fuck are you thinking? <laughs> He's so fired. Yeah, completely fired. I don't know fired. why they're talking about the fines and the suspensions. You, it's you, like, what do you think they're going to fine him for that? No, he's he gonna... can't be trusted on the sideline yeah. ever again. He's going to be looking for a jab. Uh, by the way, um, I, I got to go to the stadium yesterday. Holy shit, what a fucking... Oh, that's right. Holy yeah. shit, was that nice. Nice. Oh, my God. I want to uh, thank the Jets organization because I got... I got the uh, I got the easy pass basically. Oh, is that it? I got the easy pass to the game, and it's the only way to see football. And I wish everyone could do what I did yesterday. Ah, I'm not fancy. even joking. Fancy. I, I was picked up at my uh, my apartment. Twenty minutes later, I'm in this this VIP area in a bar. A, it looked like a huge, just really nice, over the top restaurant with a, a big, huge bar in the middle. Ooh. And there's the game right in front of you. All the food you could eat, all the all the shit you could drink, desserts. Oh, that sounds flat screens fun. everywhere where you don't even feel like you, you know going outside to watch the game. Fuck, it's too cold. And then you got kind of like a like a like a like a balcony to check out the game. I, you know, uh, they have this situation in a lot of cities. But then they give you tickets to go all the way down to the the front row to check out the game. Oh, so you get, get, get like really close. I was I was in the lines? front row, like twenty twenty five yard line, something like that. That's nice. It was it was sweet. That stadium is awesome. Hooked up. Isn't it cool? Like New York wound up getting three brand new fucking stadiums right. to check out. Yeah, in like but, no time. But I was thinking about the stadium. Well, Jersey, sorry, fuck you. You're a big Yankees fan. I got to see. Um, the brand new Yankee Stadium yeah. uh, this past summer. I went to one game just yeah. to check it out. Even, awesome. though, even though I'm a Mets fan, still haven't seen the Mets new uh, new stadium. City Field. But I'm looking at uh, you know where the Jets play there. Uh, what's the name of the stadium? I don't know. They change names all the time. Yeah, this is called Giant Stadium, even though the Jets play there too. And uh, I was thinking they only use this place. 50 days a year, maybe. I know, yeah. Maybe. Not fucked up. The Jets use it for 10 games. Yeah. About well. That's if they make the uh, yeah. the playoffs. So we might have to <laughs> say eight games this year. We'll see because they're just falling apart in front of everyone's eyes. The new Meadowlands Arena. Oh, thank you. And then you got the Giants. They do about eight to ten games a year, right? Mm-hmm. So that's if if both teams make the playoffs and do very well, it's it's almost twenty twenty days. And then the rest of the year, the thing just sits there. Unless, it just sits there. Unless you two or, or uh, yeah, Bruce yeah. Springsteen is, is coming to town. It sits there. Yeah, big giant concerts because uh, you can't just put anybody in there. Right. It's going to look a little sparse. Isn't that amazing, though? The amount of money basically, I mean, wasted. How the fuck do If you're they not make a sports that? fan, yeah. you've got to think, what a waste of money that they built this amazing <laughs> stadium to be used maybe 50 days a year. Like baseball, you fucking, it's amazing how many games they play a year, so it's it's insanity. Right. But, but like, how does a football stadium pay for itself? I don't know. With just that many games. And, and why spend all that money and not put a roof on that damn thing? Does anyone know the answer to that? They must have decided against that for whatever reason. Maybe costs? Mm, 
I don't think cost. I, I, I wonder why. Maybe they want that natural, freezing cold fucking... Because it's a nice state-of-the-art stadium, and it doesn't have a roof on it. Yeah. Which we kind of could have used yesterday, because the, the rain came a, came a down yesterday. A little rainy. A little rainy, yeah. Yeah, it was shit. They should have put a, a retractable roof. And then again, you'll, you'll have the Metrodome situation. Well, that's <laughs> that old Get puffy the balloon. There. Huh? Yeah. That's that stupid puffy balloon roof that they have. They got 18 billion tons of snow on top of it. You would, you would think if you got, yeah, if you got that type of a dome, you, you have some kind of snow removal plan. And, and, and you realize it goes back to what you say a lot, Ant, where you think people have things figured out, and they just don't. They just don't. They're human beings like, like us. They just don't have everything just figured dummies. out. I love this. You just And the cameras were set right up in there. Right. And you see the ceiling just start coming down. It opens up and spills a fuckload of snow on the field. Everyone's seen this video by now, right? Yeah. yeah. It's great. You think that would have killed you if you were uh, standing there? Huh? I don't know. If the, would they, you think that would have killed you if you were standing under the snow? Oh, yeah, because it, cause it's packed snow. It's probably like ice and fucking... Uh, I, I believe you would have killed somebody. Yeah. How, and that's... If the Giants were in town, I believe they would have been in, in there, right? It looks fluffy from that angle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you'd have been fucking squeezed. You think? Yeah. Yeah, I think Knowing so, Knowing the weather that they get up there, you'd think they would have went with a, a more rigid roof or something. Isn't that an older uh, stadium now, too? Right? Yeah, I, guess. I think so. Thank God Pam Oliver's there. Oh, they, fuck <laughs> Pam Oliver. I like when she covers things. Do you? Yeah, yeah her hair some, looks good. Her hair looks fantastic. They have cut, had some, um, some minor... Uh, problems with the roof in the past, some rips and shit, where some right. leaks and uh, snow has gotten through, but nothing like that. That was but they were, the whole thing just going. <sighs> they were just a few hours away from people being in there if the game wasn't canceled. Yeah, yeah. And that uh, and that was because the Giants just couldn't get there because they I got think, snowed in and what? They had to go to Kansas City? Yeah. And now the Giants are playing uh, Minnesota and Detroit. That's got to be weird for Detroit. Who's going to go and see that game? Well, they're uh, free. It's free. So anyone could go. So anyone could just Holy go. Shit. They decided because they decided who the fuck is going to pay right. or or travel. Right. So they just said, you know, come on in. Oh it's free. My God. It might turn some people from Detroit onto you know some of the teams. They get to see an but extra. They have a team. Game. I know. They said they get to see an extra you know NFL game. So you know what free means, right? Riot. Uh, that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Is in, the game on tonight? Uh, I'm thinking Detroit free. And where are, the, where are they showing the game? Because we got Monday Night Football, and then what? They're just throwing that game on somewhere else? Yeah. Or is it local? What, what's going on? Because now i got to see. Because if, if they're allowing people to see a football game for free, there's going to be problems. I think it's just going to look exactly like the, uh, the in Louisiana during <laughs> fucking Katrina with the dome. <laughs> fucking place. It's going to be a disaster. <laughs> right on, man. Let me uh, say hi to Brian in Minnesota. Brian. Uh, Brian. Good morning, gentlemen. Hey, buddy. Hello. This whole Metrodome roof collapse thing is about as big a scam as you'll hear this well, year. It, with the WMDs as the pretense for going and invading Iraq, the collapsing Metrodome roof is just Ziggy Wilf, the owner of the Vikings, backhanded attempt at getting the taxpayers to fund his fancy new stadium. What did he do, a snow dance? And and make it snow on top of the roof? What? No, 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 no. If this snow, yes, we got a big <laughs> whopping snow, top five snowfalls of all time or whatever. Uh -huh. But this stuff was dust. This was light, fluffy. So how is snow. it? Wait a minute. Are you suggesting thermite paint was used they, inside the dome? They did say it popped Jesse like a balloon. The, Jesse knows the layout of that dome. I, <laughs> I, I understand that one. Coming from my home state. <laughs> I don't think uh, that's hysterical. Uh, no, uh, we, we, we have had much heavier, wetter, denser, sloppier snows. Doesn't matter. It, it, it happens. Sometimes it's just that perfect thing, enough wind, the, the right amount of snow. So, so you think the owner took a chance? I think someone was up there with a, a little box cutter putting a little slit in the roof. <laughs> and that's, that's, that's probably yeah, all it the takes. conspiracy for everything. Come on. Maybe Jesse's got another episode to record. But that. why would that yes. guy take a chance? Because he would go into the dome with the snow. Maybe he did. Kind of like the uh, scuba diver in the forest. Yeah, they find him in there like, what was he doing? Yeah, in the middle of a forest that burned down. And there's a scuba diver, uh, diver, and he doesn't have a burn on him. It, it's just kind of weird that they had uh, the Fox News cameras running 
at six o'clock in the morning. It's a when, stadium oh, the, the, on the day of a game. I mean, it's it's like it's not yeah. the, all that odd, dude. You're, but the place was empty and there was no visiting team. The visiting team was in Missouri. It's just great, man. I love conspiracies. It no, really it's is not fantastic. A conspiracy. It's just it's another funny. taxpayer. Well, I think well, I think waiting for a big snowstorm might take a while. You got to be pretty patient for and, that one. And now you're just gonna you're gonna get a new stadium. What do they do for the rest of the season? No, that, they could repair this fucking thing. They said they could re- repair it pretty, pretty really? easily because it is one of those like the whole thing blow up roofs. Well, the roof is duct tape essentially. <laughs> it's, it's is all it positive pressure keeps the thing in Yeah. So once a hole down. gets in it, it just goes. Bleh. You know oh. what would have been worse than if even if nobody was on the field at the, that moment, but there were people in the stands. The panic that would have oh, happened would have been some stampede. Absolutely. Just people like, yeah, we're dying. Yeah. yeah. Just uh, running out of the place. Weren't they, weren't they supposed to do some kind of a thing with, like, every year on the field they have, like, this, uh, a hat show at that time, and they're, thank God nobody was there. <laughs> hat show. <laughs> They've gotten snow in their hats. I, I once had tickets to that. I couldn't make it. I was very disappointed. Minnesota hat uh, show, yeah. Chad is very upset with Brian, who's still on the line. No, you're not punching out, Brian. Hold on, hold on. Chad, go ahead. Oh. Dude, we had almost, in some spots, we had two feet of snow, and when it collects up like that, it's heavy, that's an inflated roof. I've been in there in thunderstorms where it started to waver and and collapse. I mean, it's heavy. It's it's going to collapse. Dude. You don't think the roof was a, was a setup, or you think the roof just collapsed? Dude, they, had, they used to have a, a system in there with heated water to keep it from... To keep the water, the moisture coming off. And off it wait, off a, of off of what? Off the roof. <laughs> and yeah. that, that, dude, That's you feel that part of the world. <laughs> yeah, but with 50 mile an hour winds, there's the. <laughs> The way that the dome is shaped, the wind goes right. over the dome. There's really no place for wind to eddy and, and create drift okay. greater than two feet of snow. Why would the roof just collapse, though? Because Ziggy wants a new stadium. No. Sir, do you, th- you, th- I mean, you think that the roof crazy. just collapsed? Yes. The other yeah, guy. I, yeah, the I, other guy we're talking to. Oh, Chad. Hold, hold your horses they, for a minute. Chad. So they put a heating system. Where did they put it? They, they've had, they have a, a, a system in the, in the roof, and you can see the steam. <laughs> really? How do they get it in there? Like during construction, or is it an aftermarket yeah. thing? I'm, I'm not sure. They were talking on one of the sports shows last night here locally about the system that they've had <laughs> to keep the snow from building on the roof too heavily. <laughs> kind of yeah. like a radiant heat system. Well, did the guy up. talk? Why would they? Why would they put the heating system though in the state? I don't understand why. Why would they put it under the stadium? Yeah, that's a weird place it's for it. In the, it's in the supposed to be in the ceiling. You can look at the top of the ceiling <laughs> in the stadium, and there are all those seams. Selling. And it's supposed to keep the snow all right. building on. Shut the- up. We were just making fun of the way you said roof. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't care what word you were saying after that. It was just funny that you kept saying roof. 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 All right, Chad and Brian Thanks. in Minnesota. Thank you. <laughs> We're just assholes. <laughs> that uh, guy's like, yeah. Let me explain. These guys are interested in my whole hot water thing, and <laughs> we don't. Yeah, just laughing at the way you say roof. Seems like that design is awful, though. They finally yeah, got that... caught with their pants down oh, or their oh. roof down. Oh, 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 the roof. <laughs> the roof. Roof. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so you got Long that going game. on. Which uh, which means uh, Brett Favre has a chance to keep his. No, he, streak alive. he said he'd even be very surprised if he was going to come out and play. He's so injured. Oh, okay. he, he thinks it's over. Everybody's saying this is it. It's, it's done. Oh, okay. He's, his Finally? Done. He's, he says he's not coming out. So Yeah, all right. Odd one. I also um, uh, I got to see the Super Bowl trophy. that It was on display yesterday Yo! at the Meadowlands Stadium there, the new Meadowlands Stadium. Yeah. And I, wa- I want to thank 523 people on Twitter for coming up with the exact same joke. Congratulations. Oh, don't you love that? Isn't it funny? 523, I kept track. What was the joke about what? That's the closest you'll, you and your team will ever be to the, the trophy. <laughs> oh. they, they tweet it like that? Yes. <laughs> with spit and all? <laughs> yes. There's a special font for that. Ah. So that I know that's how they were saying it's it. It's called Spittle. Yeah, I, I, yes. I tweeted you a picture of the Super Bowl trophy, and of course, everyone. Oh, spittle career. That's the closest you or your team will ever get. <laughs>
<laughs> Stupid Jets. I agree with you, actually. Uh, the big collapse is starting again. Yes. Are you kidding me? I know. They they looked um, they looked promising by the skin of their teeth, as they say. Yeah. And then, Did um, they? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they 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 pull off some of those amazing finishes yeah. where they won, and, the, and Sanchez then, uh, looked like shit. You you do realize Sanchez that Sanchez looked like shit. My quarterback uh, looked like shit. Looked like shit. And then Holmes is dropping easy passes when Sanchez wasn't looking like shit. Bad one. Did right you see there. what Brady did up there in Chicago? Uh, did you see what Brady did? Did you see the highlights? Uh, Mike Brady. Tom Brady. Oh, I thought you meant I don't Mike even want to Brady go with the from joke. the Brady Bunch. They were t talking about how uh, the Pats-Bears games could be the worst <laughs> conditions for a football game ever. I don't know if they set that record and how they figured it out. That's great. Yeah. At times, the wind was blowing 50 miles an hour. Did it affect Brady? The answer would be fucking no. If you remember a game a few okay. years back, uh, Patriots-Oakland, I think it was, in huh. the snow. And it was uh, one of the... Most amazing football games oh, I ever that saw. That was in the playoffs, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. That Dallas uh, Dolphins. Yeah. A few years ago, 50, 20 years ago, in the uh, That's what, snow on Thanksgiving. It's just, it adds like a cool, exciting, kick ass element to a game. That's why I hate when they put domes up, because you want to yeah. see that old school football where you don't even know where the lines are. This footage, if you if you if you want to search for it, where they got tractors and plows on the field while the team's down the one end, oh, yeah, yeah. trying to clean up this side of the field, and so, you, so a, you can yeah. at least know where the goal line is. Or if the field goal kick, kicker comes out, they gotta like snow blow the fucking yeah. thing away. I loved all that yeah, shit. That's great. But the answer is no. It did not affect Brady. No. The league is in fucking trouble because Brady's having one of those years. He's a machine. Fucking uh, fifty mile an hour winds at times, and he's just firing passes like it like it was a a, a, a slight breeze how's in Chicago. His, uh, how's his Bosley uh, hair treatment going? He's is doing he, all right. Is yeah. he getting that? Yeah, he's doing all right. Does anyone see his head? Has anyone seen his head and his hair? Does he I, wear that cap all the time? How, how are they saying he's losing hair? Right. I don't know. Maybe he's doing that. Doesn't like, make sense. Maybe he's doing that um, Richie Cunningham comb over where <laughs> during the show you didn't even think he was bald, and like a year after the show was off the air, he was horseshoe bald. I don't know what happened. He was like swirling it around and hairspraying it or something. All right, but right there. Where? Now, if you look at that picture, there's definitely receding going on. Oh, you got a little receder sides, happening, and he's getting a little bit uh, from the front to the back. Yeah. There's a little gully going on there. Like yeah. Nicholson. And uh, yeah, so it looks like Phil Collins in that picture. A little it's Phil really Collins-ish. No, it's but not. But when his hair is dry, he's able to uh, spread it out a little bit. Uh, he's push got it the down Justin a bit. Bieber there. Right. Uh, oh, you push know what? It down a little bit. But uh, he might be losing the whole front. His chick is said his chick is making him go for uh, the um, the hair transplant. Is she? Yeah. Suppose she's so, all bunching. So I don't yeah. know if if uh, he because last I saw he was wearing like that cap and shit. I don't know. <laughs> they do have a picture of Beaver and Brady. <laughs> that looks like his dad. Did you see the video of Ozzy? Going, f who the fuck is Bieber? <laughs> no. no. Ozzy oh. rules. We can find uh, that for Jimmy. Where did he'll, he say he'll that? appreciate that. I don't know what the circumstances were. Wait, who the fuck is Bieber? Yeah, he, oh, someone yeah. Someone asked him about Bieber. I heard about and he's that. like, I don't know fucking Bieber. Who's he? That's, that's great. Oh, that's good. Yeah, so the Pats are looking uh, good with this Brady. And, and he hasn't thrown an inter interception in... Something like 260, I want to say 268 attempts without, and they, without an interception. They bring it up uh, during the game because that's the insta-jinx. And oh, you yeah. know he oh, hasn't yeah, they had an interception in many... Oh, and that one picked off! Yeah, that's always and, uh, the case. This is Amy's show. This is Mark, who we interviewed. Huh? Ah. This is Amy Schumer's oh, show. Oh, it is that. Oh, okay. yeah. uh -huh. It's just Mark interviewing. Let's see. What? Music are you listening to now? Do you listen to new music? Uh, I, just, I, don't, I don't really listen to new music. Uh, if something catches my ear, I don't listen to new metal bands. I don't listen to go give me the top ten of the new metal. Bands. I want to. I got to. One of the dangers of that is if I, if I start to like it, if something gets in my head, it'll come out my mouth. You know. So you listen to a lot of Justin Bieber. Is that we gonna, Justin Bieber? Who the fuck's Justin Bieber? Good. I like that answer. That's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Ozzy. Who the fuck's Justin Bieber? Uh, no. He's the greatest. Now, we you know, know if, you, if you keep playing that clip, it's great. Ozzy gets up and leaves his presence behind and <laughs> makes the host look like an idiot. <laughs> Say, wait a minute. I have guess. <laughs> Who the fuck's Justin Bieber? Oh, Who the fuck's Justin Bieber? They did something on me for her show. She interviewed me at my house because they were doing Ooh. fans, and I was the Ozzy fan that they interviewed. Of course. Yeah. Yay! Very cool. I can't wait to see that. Me That's neither. I'm so cool. happy. Nice. I was uh, I was laying in bed last night, and uh, a Spider-Man's on, and I'm just starting to 
you know, doze off. I'm all relaxed, and I just hear, he stinks, and I don't like it. Ooh, someone stole I, my line. I turn my head. And there's there's Jimmy. little Jimmy Surly truck driver Norton. Let's see if they have a... Uh... It's just so odd to uh, to see that as you're, as you're uh, uh, laying in bed. He stinks, and I don't like it. <laughs> I was trying to, you know... Trying to jerk off and uh, surly truck driver. <laughs> that helped you, huh? <laughs> that that helped was, you. That was when I had my money shot. <laughs> but tonight, at least, we know we'll be uh, listening to some music. Paul McCartney show tonight. Yes. Yeah, it's, uh, that's that's tonight at the Apollo Theater. I hope I can make it. Why? What do you got? The flu. Ah, oh, you don't have the flu. You have flu shot. I. I uh, Jimmy's gonna get mad. Get a shot. I, uh, I I got a flu shot in one of these like just dirty drug stores. <laughs> no, you didn't go to a fucking pharmacy. <laughs> yeah, you went to like a Rite Aid or uh, I think it was Dwayne Reed. It was a dirty Dwayne Reed where where some fucking <laughs> pharmacist sets up like a little. Wow, you've had shots there. No, I've seen them. I've seen them do it. We oh were... no, go to a doctor. We were shopping after my little kid got his uh, flu shot. Took it like a champ. Finally. Oh, they're, they're poking this no. kid with so many needles. What These vaccinations are, are ridiculous. Doing. But he 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 got his. Uh, this what happened? Did you know that? That serious XM. I didn't know that. I'm not getting some uh, fucking person from here to. I'd That's rather great. go to a dirty uh, drugstore. And a Steve Blatter with a needle. <laughs> yeah, Steve probably Blatter. outside the men's room. <laughs> Just jabbing in the hiney and giggling. That's what he does. <laughs> That's a bladder just sticks in the S and he goes, <laughs> and he runs down the hall. Runs away. When you're fucking at the urinal, it just pokes Wait. you in the hiney. Yeah. What's the free flu shot about around here? Who does it? They get doctors to come in. They do it for free. Get they, the fuck out of here. Are there certain days? Uh, or you, you got yeah, they sent, that, they sent a big company email out. They say yeah. anybody who wants... I don't get flu shots. But Can they, they say, do it from the time the elevator's on the 36th floor till the time it reaches the lobby? No. Because that's the only time I think I'm available. Yeah, no. You guys... <laughs> Probably aren't around long enough ah, to take advantage. Dude, that That's a smart company out. thing, though. So the whole fucking outfit isn't out getting yeah. in that with the flu. The whole outfit. Yeah. yeah, but if you're smart, <laughs> you get the flu shot so you don't get the flu, and you still take your flu fucking days. That's what people do that are smart. I don't like that flu so shot. So then you have three no? or four days, no, make it no, believe no, you have the flu, but you're actually out there shopping and enjoying yourself. That's how, you, that's how you really do it. But why don't Everyone you, knows. Does the flu shot give you the flu? I think so, because I don't feel good. It Sorry. injects you with a virus that is dead. So why the fuck get yes. the flu shot? Well, because then your body can fight off the virus it's a that's weakened, not going to infect well, you. It's a weakened virus, so right. your, your body can fight the virus it without is it dead. going... Um, it's parts of the virus, and it's dead, I believe. And then your uh, your immune system goes, whoa, attack, attack! Yeah. And uh, and then it's done. And then you're kind of... But then what uh, if you get a new flu? Then your body says, oh, we've done that before. Oh, it's old hat. And they can fight it off easy. There are certain types of flu vaccines yeah, though, that you're... Now, you're not impervious to every flu. I'm protected you're against three. The, 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 three one main, that, yeah. the three main ones for that's this around. season. Because they know which flu is going to hit, I guess. Which yeah. is... You want to talk about conspiracy. That's a little weird. How do they know which flu is going to hit? So I went to the, uh, this dirty Dwayne Reed, and uh, a dirty pharmacist fucking oh. gave me a flu shot. Oh. And he goes, you might get flu symptoms. For how long, though? Well, uh, two I, weeks. I woke up yesterday feeling like <laughs> shit. I almost didn't go to the Jets game. You just get the flu. That's great. Aches, uh, dizzy, light, light, all, all the flu symptoms. I and I'm still, I still feel it today. So why did I get the flu shot? I wouldn't do it. I guess because you only get the flu for two days instead of uh, a couple weeks. I Is call it hokum. I might get it. I don't know. Hokum. <laughs> what are they doing in here? They did them already. Oh, shit. You missed them. Oh, oh shit on a cracker. It. Sorry. <laughs> you missed it. They do it at the beginning of the season before everybody gets the flu. Why don't they put out a company email? They did. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> so why is everyone beating me up if they already did the flu shots around here? None of us knew. Where was our invitation? Probably in your email box. I want McCartney and flu shots the same night. <laughs> That's the only emails I want. You wouldn't get a flu shot out of Dwayne Reed? No. Why not? I've seen that filthy screen they bring over, and it's like in a corner. And then some friggin' I don't know what comes up with the needle, and mm -hmm. I see a lot of the elderly doing that yeah. after they take fucking fifteen minutes to get their script. Aww. They walk up, and it's like you know, but the insurance company. Wait a minute, my <laughs> Medicare Part B, and then my Part C is supposed to be subsidized through AARP. So if you call my doctor, I think ah. Uh, i just trying to buy some condoms. <laughs> this guy wants Wait, to We know that wasn't you saying that. <laughs> <laughs> Where have you heard someone say that? Uh, exactly. Let's go to James in New York. James. 
guys got to be careful with those flu shots. Uh-oh. They put ingredients in there that are, it's not the old sulfur egg formula from the 70s. They've got things in there now. It's like aluminum, uh, formaldehyde, things like that. There's, you know, stuff in Formaldehyde? There. This guy sounds like Troy. I got something in this jar. I want you to give it to Mel. Tell him it's to hide it. What's in the jar? Formaldehyde. <laughs> That was an old gag they tried after after Who's on First that didn't quit. It was the B-side of Who's on First. Oh, Abbott Costello? Yeah. It's for Meltahide. This guy from uh, Carolina, man, he's a regular. He goes, anyone could give the shots. He, he said, I was a poli-sci major, and I gave the flu shots. Poli-sci major. <laughs> so, <laughs> that doesn't sound very good. Yeah. Uh, I don't like that. All right. Thank you, James. Let's go to Brett in Virginia. Brett. Hey, Hope. Uh, I saw a picture with uh, Snooky yesterday. What did she smell like? Could you smell her vag? Oh. Couldn't smell her vag. Uh, I hate to say it. I, I met Snooky and a bunch of the guys from uh, Jersey Shore, mm -hmm. and she couldn't have been nicer. I feel bad that we beat really? the shit out of her. Well, I guess I guess we have to continue beating the shit out of her, but she was really nice yesterday. Did it, it smell like smoke or... Uh... Or anything booze. alcohol. Uh, there, there was some booze going on with uh, right. with that gang. Not not myself. I don't really. Uh, the situation drink these days. was she was she playing? I see she's got some uh, uh, you know yeah. some of that dark uh, makeup under her eyes. She's she uh, got yeah. some some eye black on. Yeah, she got the uh, to to keep the sun out of her eyes. You know, for the was game. that it? Yeah. Or and was she mouthing off to some guy at a bar again? <laughs> <laughs> Give her the old one two. <laughs> Looks like she was told twice, huh? Yes. And I was I was leaning hand. down in that picture just so I could get my head in the fucking frame. She, she is short. She is ridiculously short. Yeah. And her, she had a boyfriend there. I guess her new man. Oh yeah, she got a boyfriend. The guy can't be five foot tall. Really oh, short fidget? too. Ridiculously <laughs> short. Is he all muscular? He was pulling around like I'm protecting Snooky, and oh, we're all looking like, all right. dude, Shut uh, chill the fuck out. Enjoy your enjoy your snoo snooky, but you're not gonna she do got anything. Got a little Jets jersey on. She's all set. Yeah, is she, she was unpleasant? Really nice. Is her boyfriend? Nah, he, he seemed like a cool guy. I didn't really talk to him. I, I talked to Vinny the most. There, there's Vinny from uh, the Jersey Shore, who turns out to be a huge fan of the show and wants in bad. Oh, bro, get him so on. we're gonna we're gonna have him on either this week or uh, next week. He's, he's a very cool down to earth guy. Was oh, the fun. situation there? Uh, not the situation. Oh, it rubbed his belly. Ah, the abs. Were they <laughs> filming anything? Were they following them around with a camera? Nah, nothing? nah. Uh, right. The new season's gonna start, I think, in January. Is it correct? Yeah. yeah. And he knows what it's all about. He's like, it's a reality show. He goes, I'm trying to get into, you know, real stuff. I'm hoping that this Aww. at least parlays into something else. Yeah, just get your He, he understands what the reality show thing is all about. You know, he's not taking it too seriously because he, he's hoping that uh, he could get something else out of it. He goes, yeah. he hates, I, I think every weekend he goes around the country because that's how he makes his money, doing right. the appearance in the clubs. And he goes, I hate it because I have to get drunk and I'm not... I don't really like drinking that much, but they expect one of you know Vinny yeah. from the Jersey hey. Shore or any guy from the Jersey Shore to just party their asses off, and that's what the club owner is hoping for. Yeah, they want. So he's like every weekend I'm doing shots with everybody, and I don't want to. I don't want to do that. that do I don't want to make my money uh, that way. What do you think he gets an appearance? I don't know. Some of these that's uh, a few guys grand. do real well. It's like at least five grand. I bet he's Snooky probably gets the most, or, or she oh, sure. gets, Sitch does. He gets Sitch. more than her. And Snooky, yeah. Sitch. Really? I would say Sitch and, does. And they were all making fun of um, uh, the Sitch. Oh, yeah? And how he shows his abs all the time. It's hilarious. Oh, really? That's yeah. funny. I had to keep my <laughs> flip in my fucking pocket. I had to Why? show respect. I should have I should have filmed it, but I didn't. They, uh, what is it, like 25000 a show for him? I'm just curious. A show. What? For who? Situation. Oh, probably. 3500 Wait a minute. Oh, no. It says as of a year ago, Ronnie and Vinny are like 3500 bucks a person. Mm-hmm. Probably more now. I mean, right. five, yeah, I think so. about five oh. or six grand. I bet. I yeah. don't know. I don't know if this is an exclusive, but uh, one of the I'll say one of the guys because there was a bunch of them there. Told me that uh, Sammy Sweetheart, Sam would appreciate this. Punches Ronnie in the face in the in the uh, upcoming season. Spoiler alert. Yeah, I got wow. a spoiler alert. Spoiler. S Sammy Sweetheart punches Ronnie hard right in the middle of the face. I hope Ronnie goes into That means nothing to most people listening to our show, but for that whole world, it's a big deal. Yeah. It might deal. be a spoiler. I don't think I've seen that anywhere yet. No, no, no. It hasn't been shown Any anywhere. type of domestic violence is a hit with our audience. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, madam. But I I, uh, I was more excited to meet the Karate Kid than uh, Snooki. Uh, Ralph, Ralph Macho. Macho. Yeah, we're both from Long Island, so I, I, I actually talked yeah. about Long Island with the yeah, guy. Yeah, an angle. Which he appreciated, because everyone else was coming up to him going, Hey, Karate Kid! Hey. What up? Wax yeah. on, wax off! And I'm like, hey, uh, fellow Long Island guy, knows the show, 
thinks the show's really funny. And then I... Uh, what show? Uh, <laughs> and, then I, <clears throat> and then I uh, I tweeted my picture to Jimmy. I go, I bet you don't have the Karate Kid. And this motherfucker, Jimmy, within seconds, uh, you know, hits me back with his Ralph Macchio pic. Went from, no, it was, the, it was the Karate color. Kid meets Kid McGillicuddy. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that was the picture Hope got back. <laughs> I was like, fuck. He, Does uh, he just still look like Ralph Macchio? Dude, look how oh, yeah. young he looks. He, he looks good, man. He looks really fucking young. Yeah, I was way more excited to meet the Karate Kid than Snooki. I thought it was going to be Jaden Smith. Oh, well, see, that's because well. you're from that other generation. Were people yelling to him? Huh? Were people, everyone knew who he was? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Right. He was a big... He looks exactly the same. Dude, he, 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 it's not like one of those things where it's like, well, he kind of... He probably can walk around because he doesn't look like that. Exactly yeah. the same. Like Leif Garrett, who nobody would know. He, no. could, he couldn't be nicer. He goes, I, he goes, I will never come on your show. He goes, I, I would never come on your show or Howard's show. I go, why? He goes, because you guys want me to talk about stuff I will never talk about. I really? will be a very boring guy in your show. Do you want to talk about sweep the leg, Johnny, or nothing? He's like, I know what you guys you know, want, and I'm not going to give it to you. <laughs> so, <laughs> wow, cause, fuck. Cause when I meet these people, I'm like, I, you know, I, I hope you do our show someday. He's like, I will never do your show. <laughs> he goes, I think you guys are funny and stuff, but I will never do it. Whoa. But he wasn't being a dick about it. He wow. was being completely honest. He goes, because I know what you guys are hoping for, and I'm just not that guy. We should guy. put in a request for him about immediately. Anything. Yeah, and see what happens. Yeah, there's really not much. To, what, did he have like a marriage scandal or something? Like, what would anybody to talk about? I, don't, I did guess. Pat Marita ever finger your bottom? <laughs> yeah, like what does he think? What does he think? He hasn't really been the king of yeah, maybe, scandal. Maybe there is something. I don't know. But I, I, I think it's more that you know we would push, 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 and he just doesn't go that way. I guess. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Speaking so. of football, yeah, I watched is. The Blind Side. <laughs> Dude, oh. Wait, can we take a break? Sure. Because this could take an hour. Saw it myself. Wait, oh. you saw it too? Did. Ain't that interesting? I did. Did yes. you guys see it together? No. 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 Oh, no. Oh, my God. Finally. So How awful would that have been if I said I saw it, that you went, I did, too, and I was like, oh, yeah, we were together. <laughs> <laughs> we should, but this, this is a break we should have done six months ago. Oh, no. No, you know what? It shouldn't have been because we're us. All and right. we would never have seen that movie right when it came out. And now oh. everybody has seen it. Yeah, oh. it's like on pay, uh, pay per view or. By the way, I should I should plug demand. it because uh, the Karate Kid was all excited. He goes to me, "Did you see my Funny or Die video?" And I have, and it's uh, it's funny and it's doing really well. So check it out. Ralph Macchio uh, makes fun of the fact that he was the Karate Kid on Funny or Die. It's a big viral video right now. Well, um. Why couldn't we talk about that on the show? If I know. Was a guest? I would love to hear hey, all man. these stories about his flight I to tried. Okinawa. I tried. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I'm back. Okinawa. <laughs> so really, were you and Mr. Miyagi friends off the air? Go. Look, I wasn't just hanging out. I was working for the show, man, and I couldn't get it done. Did you want to be part of Cobra Kai? <laughs> so wasn't yeah. that the cooler dojo? Ah. <laughs> uh, you should have told him that you were the Gregorio kid. Yes. I was the Long Island kid. <laughs> Talking about Long Island. Yeah? Yeah. Where was he from? Um he was from the he was from Huntington. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But right. then um because I that's what I that Alabama. was my angle. I was talking about Huntington. But then I think he moved out to like um is this too local? I think maybe Smithtown's somewhere out there, yeah, maybe. Somewhere out east a little further. I east. believe, but he started uh, you know, his life in the Huntington area. Mm. Where me and Ann are sort of from. Didn't we all? Yeah. yeah. All right. Uh the blind side, I can't wait to hear that after oh, the break. Yeah. Also, <laughs> yeah. hold on, I'll tell you when to do it. Big. Okay. <laughs> do you have many problems with the movie? No. Uh, no. A eh. couple, but nothing. I don't think Sandra Bullock should have won uh, the Oscar. The accolades that she no, got. No, we'll get into that. After the yeah, yeah. Also, you heard about what CNN did, right? What? What they did. Oh, the news? fuck. You didn't hear? Who is that bitch? Yeah. They fucked up bad. Yeah? You Someone really don't fired? know this one? No. Someone fired, maybe? They call themselves Fox. <laughs> you don't know <laughs> this try one? To get more viewers. Yeah. <laughs> you don't know that one? No, that's great. All right, we'll have that for you next. Stay there. The Opie and Anthony Show on the virus. Virus. Serious XM. Hey, let's not forget, you got that big uh, Foxwoods poker tournament oh, this Friday, yes. right, Ed? This Friday, the big poker tournament. We haven't talked about it that much, but it's going to be a good time up there in Foxwoods. Oh, hell yeah. Going to have a great time. Uh, go to foxwoods.com. Uh, get all the details. 
Are you right um, on the front page, hopefully? Uh, yeah, they'll find it. It's somewhere up there. I don't know. You know how it goes. But you're playing poker. A bunch of the listeners playing poker. What's the grand prize? A bunch of listeners. Um, you know something? Not sure yet. Okay. I'm not even sure. I just know there's going to be a lot of poker. going to be some money going back and forth. We might do some of the bounties uh, at each table. There might be somebody, if you take them out, you get a little extra. Is that uh, the front page? Yeah, uh, look at that. Huh? That's great. Play poker play. with Anthony from Sirius XM's The Obi and Anthony Show, December 17th, with uh, Jimmy Norton. It'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, yep. I mean, I'm actually looking forward to that. Uh, I might. I don't play poker. I'm just going to go hang. Yeah. And uh, who else is coming up? Do we know? But is Patrice coming up? Oh, yes. Yeah, Patrice going to be coming up. and uh, Is he playing? Hanging out. I don't know. Yes. Does he play cards? He will be. He's going. My brother's going to be up there because he's actually playing... Uh, the Hard Rock in Foxwoods. Fuck, I would like to, that uh, night. He? So yeah, so after to the, you after the game, I'm gonna go over there and maybe warble out a few tunes with uh, Joe. It's just gonna be one of these oh, cool. like insanely fun weekends. <laughs> Wait, you know yeah, that'd be so great. What yeah. band is he bringing? I think uh, it might be to you. It might be acoustic. I don't know. It might be his Marshall but, uh, Tucker uh, cover you band. You never know what you know. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? But it's, uh, it's going to be fun. He's always got um, something going on. That's that's oh, yeah. awesome. Wait, yeah. aren't there two comics going up? Like, uh, Patrice, and isn't Bob Kelly going or no? I'm not Walsh sure. Bobby might go? Why are no, those guys Bob. going? Just to hang, to hang out? Yeah, Definitely man. Definitely Patrice. Yeah, hang out. God, I might man. play. Can I play? Oh, uh, I mean, oh. I guess if you wanted to, they wouldn't stop you. Of course you could. I want to play War. <laughs> you should, play you should just play willy nilly. Dude, I don't know how to play. Yeah, that'd be beautiful. I want to play cards. It would be great. Yeah, I bet Keswick. Yeah. I bet you would win. I like, bet he takes out the whole team. At least take out quite a few very angry people. Yeah, Iraq's playing. Are you playing Iraq? Uh, Iraq. Do you know? Do you know the the subtleties of the game? I know. Um, it's a no, by the way. Dead, <laughs> dead oh, money. He doesn't. Oh, dead boy. money. I know All in firsthand. What? All in first hand. Oh, no. Here he goes. Knocks out a lot of guys, he could, though. He could double up. Yep. He, no matter what no matter what cards you have. <laughs> well, within reason. Oh, I thought you were just going to go blind, like not even look at your cards and just oh, push all in. Oh, maybe I'll do in. that then, yeah. Push all in, flip them over. See what happens. Yeah. Uh, Jesus. That's be- cool. Foxwoods this Friday night. Friday night. That's right. This Friday. Holy it's shit. That's Friday. why we're talking about it. Make it's sure crazy. people know about it. I'm, go- I'm going to L.A. tomorrow for one day to shoot so- a, pr- a piece for Leno for next week. I forgot I'd come back right and go to that. Yeah. Oh, B- cool. Busy little Wait. week. We, we listen to this week. Paul McCartney only for, tonight. Uh, I, I leave tomorrow after the show. I, I'm only not here Wednesday. Oh, okay, good. I'm back Ooh, uh, for we'll, Thursday and Friday. I forgot a, it's this Friday. We only have a few shows left in this fine year. I know, but then you do lose me for a couple days. Unfortunately! Because <laughs> I have to go out and pitch the piece to Jay, and I'm doing Chelsea Handler. Unfortunately! For Sirius XM, there will be a couple of days, but I'll be here. Lucky for you guys. But unfortunately! <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm yelling. And the Borgata tickets are on sale for January 15th. Late show. It will sell out. Uh, not as fast as the early show, but it will sell out. It's already, I think, half there, so. Oh, nice. Very yes. good. Good to hear. Fucking great. Uh, Vinny from uh, Jersey Shore wants to play this Friday. Hey, he's, the, he's in. Well, he's he trying wants. to like uh, reschedule something because he really wants to hang out with the ONA crew up. and play fun. some poker. So, Foxwoods, this uh, Friday, and of course, you're going to stay there the whole weekend. Oh, hell yeah. When's Joe playing? Friday yeah. or Saturday? Uh, I think uh, Friday night. Okay. Yeah. That fag! Friday you good night. to see him? And, uh... Yeah, we're taking the uh, we're taking the uh, limo up there, oh, and boy, uh, nice. also whoever's gone get, will get the the treat of a lifetime. Huh. Mom and Sal are also oh, making the trek boy. with us in the in the car. Oh, so boy. I have a nice long drive with Mom and Sal. Oh, uh, yes, boy. Are yes. they going to play too? Uh, I don't think they'll be playing poker. They're going to be over at the three card poker probably, and, and blackjack and. The slot machines, you know, old people games. Mm-hmm. Am I taking a? Uh, I don't know. How I'm getting up there. I think I'm getting a ride. Oh, you better get a ride. Is Kenny going or no? If not, let me. Th- I, yes, I, I believe I got, he is. I got the uh, what they call the uh, super stretch. So I'm happy that stretch. Kenny didn't hear me say that because he would have walked right in. <laughs> I am going. <laughs> and then leave. Yeah, that was me. I actually switched microphones. Yeah, just to do it. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> You know, you, you know how I go. I'm method and shit. <laughs> I am forget. Uh, the Blind Side. You guys finally saw the whole movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. Saw The Blind Side. Um, I was actually snoozing on the couch. I had watched one movie. And then I woke up right when The Blind Side was starting. 
And have you ever been too lazy to even change the channel? Uh, I'm course. not making excuses. This is just a movie I, <laughs> I probably never would have watched because I really don't care. Uh, but I just kind of lay there and I'm like, what is this? Oh, okay, it's a blind side. Yeah, fuck it, let me watch it. Oh, my God. I, this, was this based on an extraordinary true uh, story? Is it, oh, yeah. I'd oh, yeah. love to know how much of it is true. Did you see the end of it? Yeah. Where they show the real people? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. That's, yeah, it's true. I know. I just, well, they pump everything up for Hollywood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, you know. I, uh, That's the real I didn't mind the movie. I hated Sandra Bullock in it, though. It's I, I she hated that, her in this she fucking movie. She was that movie. take charge woman. Hey, look out. And, and Don't um, stand in her way. She won an Oscar for this, right? I know. Yeah. I, her I, acting I, sucked. I, I thought she it. was good and serviceable. Like Denzel and Training Day was good, good but not Oscar worthy, I thought. Of, co yeah. of course not. Well, who else was she against? Wasn't there somebody that really should have gotten it? Sam, can you look that up? Danny, of course, would have had it already. But I mean... Uh, Precious? No. Her, her co-star? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think the girl who played Precious was... Uh, the, should have won the Oscar either. No. She although although her big, role was a little fucking deeper than Sandra Bullock. That big lumbering dummy. That's all she had to do. That's all she had to play the whole movie. But yeah, at least Sandra she Bullock? played a fucking miserable person. Dodge fucking shit that her mother was throwing at her. But Sandra. Bullock. She had pussy in that movie. Yeah. Yeah. Helen Mirren and what else? Uh, she beat Carrie. Okay. Put that. Hold on, Sam. Uh, Sam. <laughs> Sam, you gotta put it back, Wait, Sam. She she beat a dame. She beat uh, Gabor uh, Gabori, Meryl Streep and Julia and Julia. <laughs> Um, <laughs> Carrie Mulligan in Education. I thought Education sucked. It was boring British shit. Yeah. Helen Mirren I did not see. The Last Station. station the and fuck? Sandra Bullock. Yeah, the competition wasn't what it could have been. Yeah. Uh, you don't beat Helen Mirren ever. I don't know. I don't know well, how she Mirren, was in that. How you say her name? Helen yeah. Mirren, yeah. And the Oscar goes to Sandra Bullock for The Blind Side. She was, uh... It was a basic Hollywood movie. I was it, Twittering the entire time. Really oh, good was. for you. Yes, yeah. inspirational yeah. tweets. <laughs> what, what, what did you hate about the movie? The uh, fact that black and white got along. No, I'm kidding. Um, I hated the... Uh, <laughs> oh, I, thought I was speaking for a second. What I hated was little, little things like the fact that it was... Uh, I Like, the, the, there's a scene where Big Mike comes over, and he sleeps... And then they, they show the next morning he's not on the sofa, and the sheets are folded, yes, and the music's yes. like, Bong. and it's like, what's the implication there? That big blacks don't fold the sheets? Yes! Like, that's what was annoying. I was looking at it like he never would have done that. But these, these, fuck, these little things that white Hollywood does... There was a lot of little things that were like... So guilt ridden and just uh, uh, Pan just like insulting, pandering, insulting, pseudo veiled racism, and like they don't mean it to be insulting. Like I, hate, by the way, I hate the way my Twitter page comes up on the computer. Me and Ozzy are both hidden. That's good. Yes, that's a good I one. suck. I don't like the way they always like they had the young black kids, the young white kids, and the big 17, 18 year old black guy relating. It's like he's not a child; he's a fucking man. Well, he was a little, you know. He came again, a little I don't know how much of it was first. true, but and I like how uh, uh, Sandra Bullock's white friends, when they were having their little luncheonette, their, their little luncheon thing there, and and they're talking about, you know, aren't you worried about having him around your daughter, your teen daughter? The daughter was hot <laughs> as fuck, by the way. Yeah. Oh my god, and. Uh, and they're like, aren't you worried about having that big you-know-what <laughs> running around your house in person. like a maniac? And, <laughs> and, you know, he's the most polite thing ever. I didn't like the fact that in the redneck game, it's like, I mean, sure, don't tell me that one guy didn't at least mumble nigger. Yeah. Like, don't yeah. tell me that didn't happen. Because they were all, she's calling them deliverance, and they were all rednecks. Don't tell me that one guy didn't mumble I that. Know. In the stands or in the, come on, yes. stop. If it was that much of a racial thing. That's what annoyed me, but yeah, they can't go. I there, guess they though. didn't want to go the distance. They with just that. can't go. Yeah. There. I dropped a little tear at the end. No, you his, did. I did. No, you didn't. I'll, I'll tell you when. When? When the newspaper article about his friend getting shot at the end. Oh, it's right. It's like that could have been my like. You know, I felt bad because they, they watched. They showed the guy kind of tearing up, look, getting <clears> sad, <throat> looking at him at the party. Yeah. It was one moment. He was like, eh, one guy got out, one guy did. Right. But that part, and then you what? see the real photos. It was like, all right, that was nice. What about when she went to the ghetto to to uh, <laughs> to rescue him? Oh God! The she only... took on all the gang bangers. Yeah, the, the only line even I like, she was wearing high heels and a short skirt and a tiny little pocketbook that had a fucking gun. Deep dick in her asshole. Oh hell yeah! And she would have got out of there alive. That's no. not based on reality. That oh. didn't really happen. No. The only line I liked in that last part 
Why do I? Why is my fucking me and Ozzy covered on my Twitter page? How do I fix it? I suck. That'll bother you now, right? I don't know how to do it. I just want to do it right. I, I did like. I did uh, it right the first time. That she said. Uh, oh, there we go. I did like the one line she had, which is, uh, "I'm in a prayer group with the DA." I like that she's. I'm in a prayer group with the yeah. DA. I'm a member of the NRA, but I like the fact that she was in a prayer group with the DA. <laughs> a prayer that made group. Me kind of chuckle. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa, we got a little uh, a little knowledge for everyone today. Thank no you. Way. Happy butt. For Man Arbor. The daughter is Phil Collins' kid. Yeah. Really? That's what he's saying. I'm, I'm just the gonna, daughter I'm in the, the movie. I'm just going to blindly <clears throat> believe this guy. In the movie? Yeah. Bump her up. Bump her Phil up. Collins' kid is a little movie star. Uh, Let's see if there's a resemblance. She's sexy. Well, see, How old is she, really, first of all, yeah. if I say it? No, you could say it. Oh, you could definitely see a little Phil Collins in yeah. there. Yeah. The hairline. Yeah, the yeah hairline. My sister Sudian hair. <laughs> oh, Chip. Give her a sister. awful for 16. 16? Uh, too young. I don't know. I don't know how old she is. How old is she, is. Sam? Please get a bio. Sam, come Stat. on. Get a bio, you GB queer. or something. Shit. She was born in. No, that's Phil Collins. Wait. In 1943. <laughs> <laughs> she was born in March of 2009. No, wait a minute. How come you can't find this? Oh, Sam, you are shit She's in a bag. She's 17. That's fine. Jesus. Sam. How do I fix my Twitter profile so that my, mine and Ozzy's picture comes up together? You can't. Yes, I can, Opie. Nope. nope Lies. Nope, nope. Nope. She's a model for nope, Tommy nope, Hilfiger. Nope. Mm. I was hanging out with... Uh, and then she lived with uh, Mikey uh. Big... Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love the rhyming game. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I gotta say hi to uh, Andy Hilfiger. Andy, that's Tommy's brother, who I was hanging out with yesterday at the Jets game. Look at all this going <laughs> a on. A lot of connections really? going on. Who else did you talk to? Steve Klein, <laughs> or fucking, uh, <laughs> or Larissa Karen? <laughs> I will guarantee that Andy is listening to this right now. He's also a fan of the show. He has XM in his car. Ooh, yeah, and also <laughs> refuses to come on this very program. Well, I mean, she's twenty-one. I think he, I think he does some stuff with his brother. But as soon as he walked up. I go, oh, okay, because I'm trying to figure out how Tommy Hilfiger uh, looks. Yeah. And then his brother came up, and I'm like, oh, okay, he looks like that. Ah. Then it, it hit me. I, I've, I, I know who Tommy Hilfiger is. <laughs> she's 21 then. Okay. Correct. Who's well, 21? Phil Collins' daughter. Phil Collins' daughter. So she's thought, well with What happened with the 17 thing? I must have been reading something from a few years ago. Written oh. previously, yeah. Obviously four years old. We can all do some math. She's yes. aged. Huh? She's aged since the yeah. article was written. Well, that's, she's a hey, you think uh, this stupid Bernie Madoff even shed a tear that his oh, yeah. own son uh, committed suicide? You think that finally got this scumbag piece ruined. of shit? Ruined. Because you know why he, he did it. He ruined his own son to the point where his son uh, tied, I believe, a dog leash around a pipe in his apartment and hung himself while his two-year-old kid's in another room. Well, it, well, that's this... what this scandal did to his own son. Because supposedly the son... Uh, was clean for the most part. Or they're, they're still trying to get him on 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 things. Yeah, they're trying to get him, and and of course the the lawsuits will just leave the whole family destitute and right. broke, and they're probably used to the high life. But you think this uh, unemotional fuck that's in uh, jail for 150 years uh, shed a tear on? Devastated. You think he's devastated? Devastated. Yes. He knows it's all his fault. No, How do you know? How do you know? He they, seems like a fucking robot. Your son, your, his wife is uh, 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 screaming at him. Your son doesn't hang himself, and then it, it, it's impossible. He's devastated. And there's been four like four other suicides. Uh, not related. Yeah, yeah, not family members. Yeah, you, not family members. What a selfish prick the son was. The two year old kid is sleeping. His wife's at Disneyland with the other kid, and he sends a fucking email. He doesn't even talk to his wife and make sure that the kid's taken care of. Just the whole family is selfish cunts. But I think when you're, you're going to commit suicide, you don't... Uh, you don't email. fucking leave your two-year-old there. Yeah, what if the wife didn't check the email? What if her computer was Your brain's broken? not in the right place if you're yeah, going to do something like that to yourself. Yeah. So. You're, you're, you're saying he's not thinking rationally <sighs> yeah, before exactly. he hangs himself. From a, from a pipe <laughs> and, and a, and a uh, dog leash. <laughs> Just a selfish... Not a selfish and I don't know if off. fucking Bernie shed a tear. I, I really think. don't know. I, I wouldn't just assume that. Oh, I would. He ruined so many people's lives, and it, that never affected him. He Sit could care there. less. What do you think he's doing to occupy his time? He's in prison. He's probably just sitting there fucking thinking about what he did. He should fucking take his own life. Yeah, we should hang him. But we don't do that in America. Like the old Roman legion. We don't do that in America, right? <laughs> we're, we're civilized in this country. Fuck that. No. Fuck that shit. Yeah, he's a uh, oh, goodbye funny man. A lot of uh, a lot of tragedy. That's tragedy. A lot of tragedy. Um. So CNN fucked up, huh? Yeah. What the fuck is this? <laughs> this is classic. This is one for the ages. Jeez. 
Let me just uh, just throw this in here. Most people know what this is about, I guess. I did not know. All right, in London, the government has just voted to raise the cap that universities charge for tuition. Thousands of angry students are outside Parliament protesting. On Capitol Hill, House Democrats have voted not to bring up the tax package that President Obama negotiated with Republicans. We didn't, we didn't just put that on TV, did we? It's a good thing it's a tape show. We'll just edit that out. Was it audio or video? Oh, video. Oh, oh. Video. How did... Oh, it, it was, was a fucking... part from... Uh, it was a part from no, Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber Diarrhea. where he's having a problem and he's in the bathroom. Who did that? Just shitting his brains now, out. Did that go out Do we out know live? the backstory? I don't know the backstory to this one. It did go out live. I think he was being facetious when he said that guy... Let was... me see the video clip because I got to see their face. Yeah. Inexplicably airs Dumb and Sam, Dumber can you turn Diarrhea that scene. Me too, please? Oh, yes. Nice. That's great. I want to see this. Yeah, All right, in London, the government has just voted to raise the cap that universities charge for tuition. Thousands of angry students are outside Parliament protesting. On Capitol Hill, House Democrats have voted not to bring up the tax package that That's President protesting. Obama negotiated with Republicans. <laughs> And now, the diarrhea scene. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't just put that on TV, did we? It's a good thing it's a tape show. We'll just edit that out. What, how, what, what, That's funny. Wow. Did, did they do that on purpose? Because now wow. everyone's talking about it. Why, why wouldn't you put that on? I bet they test. I bet they, they go back and forth beforehand and test some of the feeds with like funny clips. I bet the guys like as a goof they'll test oh, really? some of the feeds like it's that was just sitting there and the... then and then that was sitting there and and he probably ran that. Oh, is that classic? There's just some tech guy that was uh, laughing yeah, yeah, with some his buddies and then just... oh shit, <laughs> oh fuck, it's going out. <laughs> or maybe they're just watching the movie and the no, but it is. It is it, well, it the was the best scene in the movie, basically. It was a clip because it said courtesy New Line Cinema on yeah, the top. Yeah, yeah. Right. So like they probably said you know of all the silly slapstick in this movie and that would be the B roll, but instead. Yeah. <laughs> it's on a new show. And that bare ass and everything. Oh, Pulling fantastic. his pants down and sitting on the toilet. Fan fucking fantastic. <laughs> Oops. Isn't that great? Any apology? Not that uh, I've not seen yet. I'm sure there will be. Not yet. We'd like to apologize if anybody was offended by a diarrhea clip. <laughs> if, you're, <laughs> if you're offended by that, do we have to really care about those type of people in this no, world? No. Why would you be offended by that? Well, I happen to think that when I'm watching a news program with my family, <laughs> I happen to think that my family and I have the right to watch the news without yes. being offended by uh, fecal matter. Fecal matter, Joe. Uh, <laughs> Goddamn Dr. Steve. I, I love him and hate him. What happened? He's I do too, except without the love part. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, I love Why? him. He didn't and sugar hate him. He didn't sugarcoat his diagnosis. <laughs> no, yeah. <laughs> he uh, he sent me a lovely gift. It was a a big like the one boxes of those tower things. I got, the boxes. I got the tower of shit from him too. It's no no. It is a tower of Goodness. fucking deliciousness that I cannot stop eat. No, I, I can't eat it. Why? Because it, I'll be pie? a fucking fatso. It's it's crazy good. It's better to eat that than go downstairs to the tap. Nah, I love the tap. <laughs> it's fucking liquid. You piss it out. No, I, no, I had I had a couple. I had uh, one of the truffles and yeah, some of the dark chocolate it's things. It's really good stuff. It, it, it's like, it's so good. I'm like, Dr. Steve, what is he doing? I think we're going to re, uh, re-wrap. Re-gift? Why not? That's a, that's, that's a very, great gift for some old person mean. in your family. It's very mean. Huh? It's very mean. Why? He'll never know. Well, he will now. Uh, I guess so. <laughs> I don't really care about his feelings, so it doesn't matter. I, oh, uh, I have to get him something now. I know. Uh, Isn't that of, the worst? It is. But the thing is, Dr. Steve's cool, so I want to put a lot of you know thought behind it. He's kind of hard to uh, shop for. So, um, And uh, if you're listening, just pick something up and send it to Dr. Steve. Let me know what it is. There you go. It's done. It's all the. Th it's the thought that counts. Very nice. Thought a lot of thought was put into that. <laughs> I didn't. Uh, that sounds. I'm trying not to eat that stuff. Uh, I'm trying to lose weight. Yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> I haven't done anything yet. Hit, hitting the gym. I haven't done. No, I mean I've, I've been hitting the, I hit the gym a couple times last week, but I haven't uh, lifted. I've been I like very. When you bad. say hit the gym, 
Yeah. Should never say hit the gym unless you've been going for a while. Why? Because it's like, yeah, I'm going to hit the gym. It's like, no, you're going to the gym. You didn't let me finish. I would. I wanted to hit the gym with my fat tits in the stomach, <laughs> <laughs> so I did. <laughs> uh, Someone on instant feedback reminding us about the the subway guy. Holy shit! I, Ow! I don't know oh. if these pictures are making it to your town, but yeah, train and suffering horror photos reveal torment of man. Of man pinned on subway tracks. But wait, he didn't get trapped. Like the train. I got tweet this. For the train rest wasn't of the moving. The train wasn't moving. It wasn't like what you see footage of, when a train is rolling and, and a guy falls in front of the train and it wraps him up like a fucking Twizzler against the yeah, platform. Yeah, this is a fucked up thing that happened. He uh, there's a gap obviously between the platform and the train, and there's all these signs that say watch the gap, mind the gap, look out for the gap, fucking watch your ass for the gap. The gap, the gap. The gap. He was uh, standing by the door. The train oh, shut it off for a second. I gotta talk. He, With this video? Hold on, hold on. No, that could be something else. Something it could else. be another one. Uh, he was standing by the door. He walked out and fell in the gap. And then a hydraulic little extender for the platform that is supposed to protect people so they don't fall through the gap extended itself and pinned him oh. between the train and the extended hydraulic thing. And they couldn't figure out. It took a half hour to get somebody to get the hydraulic uh, little oh. platform extender to retract. Why a half hour? These, because it's fucking anything City related takes a half hour. That was a half hour of him Dude, just screaming bloody they, murder. They tried pulling him out. He was like, "No, it hurts." And and the way the platform extender comes out, it has this interlocking thing, like a claw. so it's got like claws that went Teeth. right into his belly. Was he bleeding? You think or oh yeah, and there was about there was only about two inches of space between. The the platform extender and the train. They said he's, he's so in a he coma. He's clean a life now. Yeah, he's fucking done. But it's it's not as bad as it could have been. But what a terrible. Well, fuck. It's as bad as it could be. You know what I mean with the train? It wasn't yeah, like it was the train's die. moving and they twist like a Twizzler. I, oh, I've yeah. seen footage yeah. by the way. I, I've seen footage recently of a fight in India. I think on the subway platform or something. There were Indian guys. It could have been anywhere. Mm. And the one guy got like the train was moving and the guy kind of got like hit the train and his arm gets caught under the fucking train and fuck. it's ripped off. It's great. Oh, that's no. sick. Now, the extender ant uh, is for people that can't, like, step over the gap. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, We have to take care of the people that can't figure out how to step over the space between the yeah. platform and getting on the train. And so, now this thing has fucked people. Right, because people were getting injured that way, so then they came up with this extender. Yeah, the extender that comes and, out. And, which seems uh, way more dangerous, obviously, than a few yeah. people, you know, falling because they can't figure out basic... Shit! Take your goddamn foot off. It's uh, yeah. It's uh, it, it, it. It. You know what it is? When you're getting off a fucking train, step. Don't right. fucking. People are sheep. It's the same per people that fucking uh, uh, see somebody cross the crosswalk where it says don't walk, but a guy looks and notices he's got enough time to walk, and somebody will just start walking behind him without looking. They just follow like sheep, and then you got to jam on the brakes and go like, and and lay on the horn and go like. You, you just stepped into traffic without looking. Dummy. And it's these people that just shuffle along and fall in this gap between the train and the platform. Is this the video of the guy? No, that guy looks a little twisted. Let me see. Oh, okay. Yeah, that looks see. like a bad one. This guy is really trapped. How do, how do they get him out? Hey, back the train up the whole way. Oh, oh he's bleeding bad. Yeah. yeah. His dick and balls are probably so fucking crushed. Ah. That train's gonna be delayed, I'd say. A little bit. That's gonna be rough. Yeah, cops just holding him. He's like spun in half just about. How horrible, man. And then rumor has it, yeah, that the blood pressure stays... Like a tourniquet. Yeah, because it cuts off the blood uh, to the wound. So you don't bleed out. You just kind of sit there until they get the pressure off. And until then they move the train, and then all your guts and shit fall out. Yeah, and then your guts fall out, and you bleed to death. And there was one dead. one story, uh, story one where the uh, oh, that was in Soho. Wow, accidentally stepped into the gap between the subway car and the platform, had his leg trapped and brutally twisted after the train moved. Uh, oh, his leg was tri twisted. Um, I wonder if he might have lived then. It was just his leg. Yeah, he did. It says he was taken to the hospital, non-life threatening. But his his leg, yeah, his leg's all fucked up. Probably had to take his leg, right? Ow, ow. I was Some... watching a show. I survived last night. 
That's a and, great show. Uh, yeah, but they have a new the one. The reenactments now. suck, though, right? Uh, no, there's there's not real reenactments on that one. I survived. It's just people telling the story. What's the other one then with the dumb reenactments? Uh, I should be dead. Yeah, I think <laughs> it has. The, I think you're right. The I survived one is now I survived, and they have a new ones where it's uh, and came back, like they died and came back, and it's all these people that had fucked up shit happen to them. One guy was on a motorcycle, and some truck pulled right out in front of him. And he laid the bike down and wanted to push ah. the bike away. He, so he pushed the bike away, and he's sliding. <coughs> he slides right in front of the truck and grabs the truck so he doesn't slide any further. And then the guy runs right over his chest and stops with the front tire on his chest. Why? That wasn't very nice. I know. And then the guy's like, uh, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't see you. He goes, what? You see me now? He goes, get the truck off me. And that must have been the big mistake because as he was backing off of him, the guy said he just heard, like, like, crackers Ugh, crunching Christ. as he just crushed his rib cage and punctured his lungs and and then he died right there he died and he talked about how he saw uh his mother and his grandmother and uh, the light and the warmth and the peace and he didn't want to go back and it was wonderful and beautiful and and then uh the mother said something like you can't you can't stay you gotta go and then he heard like way off in the distance in this thing he heard like we got a pulse and he felt himself being like physically pulled back and he opened his eyes, and and he was like in pain again, and all fucked up, and it happened like, and 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 that's pretty much the gist of every story. But it's how other people died, uh, and and it, it, very very odd. It's you all similar stories. Does it make you believe a little bit? I don't know. It's conf it confuses it's, you, it's right? It's just like. Uh... You mean uh, the fact that it's probably just a, a near death hallucination that people. Like a weird, they they say that there's a, a thing in us, right? Like that that nature puts in, that it's been speculated, that has us worship a, a deity, which uh, because it could be a self preservation thing. Like mm -hmm. what, we have no natural enemies, so what would prevent us from complete anarchy or from just self destructing, would be this little thing in us which gives us an, a natural, like, bigger thing than us. Yeah, whatever it is, has to be moral. It could just be a or it could like just that. be God, Jimmy. I, I'm not saying it ain't the good Lord. I'm only saying <laughs> they, praise the Lord. Their stories always have this. Um, there is our relatives, or the feeling of relatives, unless it's a literal. Like uh, one person saw literally their mother and grandmother looking better than they ever had before. They were both of like similar ages one wasn't old and one wasn't young but he couldn't tell how old really but they just looked good another person it was uh a light and an energy that they knew was this person just from the feeling that they got she knew it was like this grandmother that was like hugging her or some shit mm. and then there was always this feeling of like you can't stay and once you figure out you can't stay you get really pissed <laughs> off because you don't want to go back like, like you lose they said you lose all concern or worry to want to go back and be part of this life where you have to worry about things and this that because it's just such a all enveloping. So why wouldn't you kill yourself thing. as soon as you come to? I don't know. I think it gives you some kind of perspective or something. Yeah, yeah. And if everyone looks so good, uh, let's call it heaven. Yeah. Then what? Like, what do they do? I think it's something that is way beyond what we can even imagine here. It's something like, you'd be like, oh, I like, you know, I like riding motorcycles, so does having a motorcycle? No, it's some kind of very, I think, um, more cerebral happiness thing that you care about. Can you still eat sushi? Probably not. Fuck. I don't think there's any sushi. Well, no, because fish have to enjoy heaven, too. Yes. And I don't think there's a communal uh, heaven, either, from what these people are saying. Like, it seems like it's kind of family-based, whoever you loved, individualistic kind of thing. So so it's not like you got to be happy and deal with, like, somebody halfway around the world that you don't know that died. I don't know. Are you just floating around? I, I don't know. Some, and a lot, everyone says that they do. They get this floating thing. They kind of look down. They see their body. They see the people working on them, but they don't really care. They walk around. Some of them leave the room. Why does it always have to be down? Because they float up. But there's no up in the universe. Nah, but it's in the, in, in like, it? uh, it's like on a video game where it's got a bug and you kind of go through a level. Right. You know, you can float up and you're like, you go through the floor and you sure. end up in the spot where you're supposed to go up the stairs. That makes you think. <laughs> My dad yeah, believed. Yeah, it, it was fucked up. My dad believed in all that stuff. <laughs> really? Researched all of it. Near death experience was his thing. Well, if it's any consolation, everybody said very peaceful, very <clears throat> you didn't care, 
um, and uh, just relaxing, I guess. It is simply a euphoria. You think and I hate to be fucking ke- Kenny Curmudgeon. Blast of chemicals burst into the, it is into the head. It's just your brain firing out something so you don't realize what's happening. And it's almost like spaceships. As technology advances, we know what we think spaceships should look like. Uh-huh. So we see them as, they're always reported as such. Like, it's like the hallucination is, we've heard for our whole lives that heaven, white light, family, so that's what people but see. But don't you think that... No! All right. I don't. We just gave everybody... <laughs> I, just, I just talk. Don't, <laughs> we just gave everyone hope out there. I and know. There should be fucking ruins. Now, it. don't you think there would have been a study... Uh, based on what chemicals were released into the brain, like sure, endorphins and that. Sure. And, uh, well, nothing's come up for a death chemical that, um, except for, you know, decomposition after you're dead. No one's really come up with a, this happens in the brain, this this chemical is released that's never released any other time. In, because it may not be a death chemical. It may be just the endorphin release or whatever. <laughs> and because you know you've had an accident or you're dying, your mind, that's the picture your mind just might paint. It's like, you know what I mean? It may, it may be the same thing that's released when you have an when you have adrenaline or or people that uh, you know have in, an injury and they don't feel the pain or whatever. It's just some kind of a of a, of a chemical thing. That's yeah, probably you think that's it? I'm sure. I hate to say that, but of course that's it. What if there is some kind of just uh, you know extension of your who you are thing, whatever you want to call spirit or whatever, an extension of that, and this is just you know like birth. Birth was part of making you. You don't know what was going on before that, but birth was part of making you. You don't know where your soul was or who you were before that. Maybe you were lingering around somewhere. So then after, maybe this is just an extension of that. You just keep going on and on and on. Maybe. Hope yeah. you're right. Yeah. Looks like someone... Energy uh, can't be destroyed, you know. It can only change form. That's so. true. Looks like someone uh, hit middle age officially. No, no. I was just uh, <laughs> watching this. Uh, I was just watching this. Sure, no atheists like... in foxholes or <laughs> mansions either. <laughs> <laughs> Please, God, don't let this end. I make a lot of money. <laughs> uh, no, there, there were people that were talking about There was this one woman, and she was in some car wreck or some shit, and her friend got, like, fucking decapitated and and wow. she got fucked up and her heart stopped and and she said both of them ended up together in this very warm light kind of atmosphere and um she knew that she had to go back but the friend wasn't going to be going back like you get all this weird fucking hazy knowledge thing and uh she said it was very comforting to the mother of the dead woman to be able to go and tell her that she went through this with her, and she was very at peace. And and, and I'll bet you that the fucking girl shit. who died had the same dream, thinking that I'm going back, and the other one is it, and then she just drops dead and goes nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> same horseshit dream. Everyone who's dead has it. They think they're going back, but they're not. They're going to fucking uh, Samson's funeral home. <laughs> Samson's funeral <laughs> fucking... McGillicuddy's funeral home. Uh, yeah, I should have said that. Ted's funerals. <laughs> well, why don't we go to Steve? Uh, this happened to yes. Steve. Yes. Steve in uh, Jersey. <laughs> I had an after-work experience. <laughs> Good morning, guys. Hi. Hello. How are you? Better now that you called? <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Breaking news. Uh, Great, ne- Great Neck, Long Island. Somebody uh, broke into some teenage girl's ah! room. I used to live there. I used I... to live in Great Neck. Yes. I broke mm. room. I never broke into a teenage girl's Can room. Can we get though. that story, please? Yes, uh, I don't know what that's all about. Yeah. Go ahead, Steve. Okay, Steve. Okay. Um... When I was uh, younger, like 17, 18 years old, and I'm going to be 50 soon, um, I was doing a little partying, but it wasn't enough to cause what happened. Smoking some pot, you know, it was in the 70s, the intergalactic space bong. And the next thing I remember was screaming for help. And then, like, hitting the floor, seeing, you know, exactly what you're describing, seeing myself um, laying on the bed, you were high. Exactly. <laughs> no, no, it's a lot more than that. All right. And then the the, uh, the next thing that I can remember was that same white light tunnel. It felt like the warm tunnel that I was being kind of sucked into. Very, very peaceful. I remember telling my brother, who was uh, he was a, he was a freshman in college at, at Rutgers, and that's where I was, and I was a senior in high school. And uh, I remember telling him, it's okay, don't worry, it's, it's, it's fine, it's not a problem, it, you know, I'm okay. Then, and then the next thing that really happened was the uh, EMT that was giving me mouth-to-mouth because they lost my heartbeat. I just remember the air, like this feeling like 
I was, uh, you know, th- that was bringing me back. And uh, it took me years to reconcile what happened because I just figured, well, this is such a nice thing. Like, why the fuck am I back? Like, why didn't I just go? Nah. Did I do that? I was, like, it makes you feel like, well, was I, you know, did I do something wrong that I, uh, you know, I wasn't worthy to go wherever we're going? Oh, or, well, that's uh, probably it. Are, are you, maybe, you know, well, worthy. Are you scared you know, to die now? Uh, yes. <laughs> well, I'm just, I'm 50, but I'm just starting to get back to the point where I'm okay with dying. But for a long time, I was afraid to die. I was afraid of everything. I was a neurotic friggin' mess. And, uh, you know, you would think that that would have uh, maybe taken me the other way, but it didn't. It, it left me kind of fucked up for a while. And, uh, you know, my brother got his ass kicked because he's the one who had all the pot, and I was only this little high school boy. What the fuck uh, kind of pot were you smoking? Well, they tested it. They tested. Remember back then, it was angel dust. Was Power crazy. quat. Yeah. So, nothing. Your brother Rufy just we, you put it in your butt. And... <laughs> well, according to uh, Sam brought this thing up. According to this doctor Carl Jensen, who sounds like a German, ketamine, which is a drug, can reproduce all the main features of. Uh, well, I, I wonder if Doctor Steve would feel the same way too. Ketamine can uh-huh. uh, reproduce all the main features of near death experience. NDE. Uh, Include traveling through dark tunnel and the light, but uh, the feeling that one is dead, communicating with God. Yeah, I didn't see any hallucinations, of that. out of body experiences. I wasn't finished. Strange noise, <laughs> etc. This does not prove that NDE is nothing but a set of physical responses. Nor does it prove there is no life after death. But there is a drug that reproduces it. I hate to be the bearer oh. of bad ketamine. Rogan would love to read that. Love to have some ketamine. Yeah, that. Rogan has a whole thing on this. Uh, actually, someone knows what Rogan uh, says about oh, this. Thank you for okay. your story there, Steve. We're going to Graham in PA. Graham. Hey, what's going on, gentlemen? Yo. Hey, you got something on this? What's that? Yeah, speak and be spoken to. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, yeah, I was just calling uh, Joe Rogan and uh, Doug Stano. There's some drug called DMT. I guess it's like dimethyltryptyline or something. It's a synthesized version of the chemical that your brain releases when you die, and that causes hallucinations. Yeah, no, uh, okay. Like Rogan has... Uh, ...in the world or something. Right. Okay. Yeah, so uh, that's like a chemical uh, little burst. And then what, you yeah. see light, You see a light, and you feel warm, and uh, you don't want to go back into your body or something? Oh, no, that's what fucking Joe Rogan was saying. No. I think uh, I think that, that chemical is like uh, something that helps your, like, consciousness transition or something when you die. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I think. All right, okay. brother, thank you. We got Dr. Steve on the line. Oh. Dr. Steve, is there a heaven? Go. Dr. Steve, <laughs> you, uh, now as a little preface here first, uh, I'd like to say Dr. Steve works with a lot of people who are right there on the fucking teeter totter of death. <laughs> right. right on the front Goddamn. line of heaven. One foot in the grave, the other on a skateboard. And you have a. Uh, the pillow uh, in your hands. Of, <laughs> yes. A in lot your of checkbook. Ex- <laughs> a lot of experience with this. I think you would be knowledgeable on the thing. What, what's your take on this whole light, warmth, seeing family? Uh, being brought back from the, the, the brink of death or from death. What, what's your take, Dr. Steve? Well, you know, I have to tell you that one of the reasons that I'm doing hospice work is to deal with my own mortality, which means I have no answers whatsoever. <laughs> ah! <laughs> All right. That's, that's wonderful. No answers. But I do see people who uh people. well you know we have some measure of control over over the time of our death which is interesting how's that i see people frequently see people who what i don't know <laughs> see people they're called women i do see people frequently who say uh you know i'm just waiting until my cousin Joe from Kokomo shows up, and then when they show up, then the patient dies. God, they should never show up then. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? It's like you, and you could tell that that person was waiting for their their uh, loved one to show up before they uh, uh, died. It's like, hey, then don't show up. Yeah. See how long yeah. he holds on. How many people die right before husband Joe is in the lobby and just miss him? <laughs> Whoops. When he's getting a coffee like Terminator Two. <laughs> No and you bring up a great point, Jim, because we don't do. see, 
pay attention to those times when, yeah. when it doesn't work out that way. So there may be a selection bias there where we just, you know, think people have control, but it just is that mm. we remember the times when people were waiting for somebody and then they died after they showed up. Now, have you ever had an experience with uh, somebody that, uh, you know, left uh, this mortal coil and then uh, came back and, and yeah. told you a thing or two? Yeah, I, uh, <clears throat> I've had two patients who have had near-death experiences. And both were in for broken fingers, thanks to your <laughs> bungling. It was after drinking his wine, <laughs> near-death experiences, and then complete blindness. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, Dr. S. Yes, of course. Go ahead, sir. Uh, near-death experience, two patients. Uh, two, two people who've had it, and it should be... Um, noticed or you know at least pointed out that if they came back from the dead that they were not actually dead I mean, ah the see of dead is that they actually die you're from that school of thought now now the heart stopping isn't necessarily dead uh, as long as there's still uh, some oxygenated blood going through the brain i guess um you're not right. technically dead heart uh, that's that's an old definition of death, the heart stopping, but now that we have the ability to bring back people, usually around 15% of the time, I will add, yeah. uh, 15 to 30% <laughs> is about the best we could do if someone heart stops uh, to get them to you know come back to a reasonable quality of life. Go kickstart. Uh, you know, that, that whole scene in the abyss where uh, uh, his, he does a code blue on his wife after he drags her through the ocean. I don't remember if you remember that. Yeah, yeah. Stern does CPR, and then she gets up and is running around through the rest of the... <laughs> it's a, sadly a myth. It doesn't work that way. But. Not quite. Yeah, they had some people on the show last night that were like, they were out for 20, 30 minutes of, sure. of heart stoppage, but uh, they were getting constant CPR on their way to uh, the hospital. And uh, they didn't have any signs of brain damage or anything, so I guess it does happen occasionally. It, happen. it, it definitely can happen, and uh, kids who fall into cold lakes can be resuscitated Uncle in Paul. five minutes to an hour, <laughs> to an hour after they're uh, pre uh, you know presumed dead. So there is that they're they're in a state of sort of suspended animation because of the uh, you know this thing called the diving reflex that slows down our metabolism. So so you're saying that if you come back from the dead, it is proof that, in fact, you were never dead. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> okay. Yeah, all right. Because the, uh, the definition that we use of death now is irreversible uh, cessation of brain activity. And, right. Uh, so so Iraq is technically dead. dead. Yeah, yes. Exactly right. Look at his face. He doesn't even smile. He just anymore. shakes that giant meatloaf in a wig that he calls a head. <laughs> uh, all right, Doctor Steve. Uh, it was interesting uh, finding your take on the whole thing. Uh, I don't know. I, you know, I, I kind of have. Uh, I, I guess I'm a little conservative on that. Although I'm definitely open-minded. They've done studies on people with this near-death thing where mm -hmm. they. Uh, have uh, uh, an operating room where they routinely stop people's hearts, and they've put a <laughs> message uh, on a uh, one of those uh, scrolling signs that nobody can see unless you were floating above the operating room. Ah, there you go. Okay, that's interesting. And, uh, and so they did this to look at this, and not a single person came back and said that they had seen the message. So right. when somebody, another buzz kill. So Thanks, Doctor Steve. <laughs> when someone says they're true. floating over their body, they would have been able to see this message, like, right. "Hey, get back in your body." Yeah. Or something, and and uh, that was pretty clever. On that the, is pretty goddamn the clever. Part. <laughs> this study was run for years, and nobody brought. Oh, that's wonderful! Uh, wow, great. there's no fucking heaven. Thanks, very, Dr. Steve. very interesting. <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> uh, no, a negative isn't proof. That's not true. true. That is true. Good that point. is true. Doctor Steve, thank you also for your wonderfully generous gift of stuff that I really can't eat. But um, I, I, it is very delicious. And he did write on it that uh, Danny and Keith will probably eat most of this. Of course. But of course. Um, thank you very much. Very thoughtful gift, sir. You'll be getting a, uh, a weird medicine Bristol stool scale mug in the mail. Oh, well. What the hell? <laughs> I'm running home right now. <laughs> you can you can. Check
check your stools while you're drinking your cup of morning, Joe. Wonderful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Dr. Steve, thank you again right. for your right. your knowledge. All right. Have a great day. You All too, right. sir. Dr. To Steve, everyone. Uh, Jake Steve. in Jersey. Jake. Right. Hey, guys. Uh, just to bring it all around, uh, Penn and Teller on their show, uh, I believe, either the first or second season actually did the... Bullshit! No. <laughs> I'm just naming the show. Yes, of course. And uh, they actually said that uh, pilots in the centrifuge, after they blackout, they had the same thing. And what's also weird to me is no one ever sees hell. Everybody always goes to towards the white light. How fucking big is heaven? Well, maybe there isn't a, a heaven and a hell per se. Per maybe second per se. <laughs> per se, per se. <laughs> maybe there's just a place that you go uh, when when you die that's... Uh, you know this this energy mass that you have some recognition of uh, past oh, uh, experiences. No, you're not buying that. No, fuck that. All right, Jake. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, we're uh, no. we're gonna leave this morbid subject and this do something morbid subject and do something next after the break. Uh, Paul McCartney at the at the uh, Apollo tonight. We're all going. Yes, yes the sure. Apollo Theater. It's gonna be a good time. And, First uh, time I'm going there, by the way. Me too. Me really? too. Yeah. Yeah. Why else would we go? Why, why would we? Have you ever been to the Apollo, uh, Sam? No, I used to watch a show when I was a kid, though. Live from the Apollo. Mm -hmm. After uh, SNL. And Paul McCartney's making the rounds. He was on SNL this weekend, and we're going to give you a little taste of him doing Jet. Oh. A little taste. Paul McCartney sounded good on SNL, huh? Well, talk about a taste. What? Talk about a small taste. That's what a taste is. <laughs> that was a little less than Get a taste. Get with the program. That's a taste. I think that was um, uh, like when you smell something that you want to taste. You think? Yeah, yeah. That was a sniff. A little sniffle? Yeah. By the way, from, uh, I think it was Friday's show already. Blood away. Uh, Big A doing the news with E-Rock and the drill sergeant bit. I cut up a couple of videos for the peeps. Oh yeah, he's uh, puking. It's it's a start. Oh, oh, that was very funny, heat. actually. The uh, <laughs> I watched that with my chick. I made her yeah. watch the uh, Iraq uh, bad breath news. It was very funny. It's turning red and dry heaving. Yeah. Poor fantastic. Poor big A. And then I added it. Yeah. Uh, then I added the drill sergeant bit that Jimmy came up with. So they're both up on the YouTube channel, OP Radio, and then we got the Facebook page happening again, right, Sam? Opie and Anthony. Yes, Facebook. on Facebook. Dot com. These videos linked. Oh, yeah, they, they all link up on the Facebook page. All right, so, uh, yeah, you can go to the Facebook page, Opie and Anthony, you can see the uh, Big A videos. Big A's breath, you know, he can handle it. It was a bit it was a bit gamey on Friday. Gamey? It was a bit gamey, and E-Rock's uh, expression, he's trying to do the news inches from his face, very fucking funny, man. Hilarious. And then Jimmy coming up with the drill sergeant bit. So check it out for yourself uh, in your downtime. Mm -hmm. Hey, our mayor uh, doesn't want to be president. Good. Shouldn't be. Well, rumors are floating that uh, he's posturing to uh, run for president, but he insists and swears, I guess, that he is not going to seek that office. Because he wants to be known as the greatest. <laughs> Watch Jimmy's face. Uh -huh. The greatest mayor of all time. <laughs> Does it, but I'll tell you what. Financially, he's a smart guy. But that asshole, when there was a bomb found in Times Square... Well, who knows who it could be? It could be somebody who's against health care reform. Yeah, yeah. You really want that dumb motherfucker dealing with foreign policy? He's way too left. Oh, and he can go fuck what himself. A dope. Well, no, we knew uh, exactly who did it. Yeah. We, everyone knew who everyone did it. Everyone knew. Please. Everyone knew it was Islamic uh, extremist. Everyone knew it was probably a Muslim, and he wouldn't say that. He would no. never, ever. He does, does any, he's like one of those apologists who will never criticize Islam sure. or Islamic extremism. He says He'll say, uh, you know, who cares? It could be a suicide bomber named, named uh, Frank. You know, that's, the that's the type yeah. of thing he would say. No, it's not. Mm -hmm. he's, uh, he's not. And he says he's uh, not running. He says he wants to go into, you know, charity work and all that. No, he says he, he has afterwards. a lot more bike lanes to make. So. Is that what it is? All yeah. over the country? He needs to make more bike lanes. I, I don't like uh, Mayor Bloomberg whatsoever. He's going to sh shut down uh, 95 
in the entire state of South Carolina yeah. and just make it one big a, bike lane? One big, actually, no, just a place with tables and chairs <laughs> where you can sit out and traffic will be bypassed to side streets. Take care of the tourists. You can't. Oh, I know. I, d- <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I did the tourist thing this weekend. Did you? I, I saw the Christmas tree. Oh. Then I uh, saw the ice skating rink. Did you have people up or uh, down? I or had people somewhere? up. There's some scams going on around that tree, man. Yeah? Good one. I saw, I saw some uh, pick, uh, pickpocketers. Oh, yeah? I saw, uh, uh, we have something in common. I saw a Santa Claus get arrested. Yeah, you yeah. You saw pictures of a Santa Claus. I saw Claus. pictures, yeah. I saw actual Santa Clauses getting arrested uh, around the tree because, and we fucked them up by accident. It was oh. our fault. We saw that they uh, they were brown bagging it, like, and we said something like, oh, right on. And then they had to show us what was in the brown bags. And I'm thinking to myself, we already know that it's alcohol, oh, you dopes. Shit. And, man, they were on them, the undercovers. Was that for SantaCon? SantaCon, well, I was like, yeah, I yeah. guess it was part of SantaCon. I, did you know about this? Uh, I only knew when Keith, uh, Keith the cop told me about uh, SantaCon. He the, was working SantaCon. This fucking generation has, has something going on. God bless him. Can you imagine if we had SantaCon in this shit when we were growing up? One SantaCon daughter. is a day where it was this past Saturday in New York. I think it was all over the, all over the country in a bunch oh. of cities. <laughs> And uh, I don't know how the word got out. I'm assuming it was Twitter or something. No, I'm assuming it's a Facebook. It's been around for a few years, so maybe a maybe it started on MySpace, where everyone gets together, dresses like Santa Claus or some kind of Santa Claus Christmas type character. Uh huh. I didn't see the jizz represented in uh, Santa Con, by the way. Eh, no, uh, I didn't no, see that. No one dressed like a menorah. No, I didn't see or any dreidel, dreidel, dreidel. Didn't see any Jewish characters. This was all uh-huh. about Christmas. And everyone just starts drinking at 10 a.m. dressed as Santa Claus. There were Santa Clauses all over the fucking place this weekend mm. in New York City. Yeah, I heard uh, <laughs> a couple, um, uh, well, a couple uh, that I saw pictures of. Let me see. I was on my way to the cellar. I just saw a group of them in the village. I'm like, what the fuck is this? It must have been at the end of it. Oh, yeah, it was a night. They, do, they do travel I, in packs. Uh, I, ended up down, uh, I ended up down in the village. We went to John's Pizza. Voted second best pizza joint John. in all of New York. Yeah. What's the first one? It's in Brooklyn. Is Ray's? It, where's, uh, Ray's. There's a Ray's oh, on wait. every corner. John, or John's like that? in the, v- the village is second best? Yes. It, you've been there on Bleecker Street? They only serve pies. They only serve pies, I, my I should friend. go there. If I haven't been there in a while, I'll go there this week maybe with my brother. Don't get the pasta. I made <laughs> a mistake and got pasta at a no, pizza No, not at John's. Joint. Nothing better than a me. cuffed Santa at the desk. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see that? Uh, yeah. Are you allowed to tweet that? Uh, no. Oh, that's too I, bad, because that's a great one. I'd just leave that. That's that's a great one. for public consumption, so, but it is pretty funny. Went up, <laughs> Dummy. Went up down at uh, John's and Bleecker Street, and that was probably the epicenter of this uh, Santa Con. There were thousands of Santa Clauses. I tweeted a picture of this girl who was literally comatose. And because yeah. I called her a shit-faced hoe, I had the, uh, I had the women's uh, groups on Twitter fucking beating me up. Oh, uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't call a guy that was that drunk a whore. I call him a shit faced asshole. I just said shit faced ho. Douche. Doing the that's ho 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 though. thing. That's... I was I was going with a Christmas theme oh. slash that she might be. Did a you hoe. put shit faced ho ho ho, or did you just put shit faced? No, ho? then I went fa la 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 ah. la la la. I don't know. Uh, shit faced ho in the la la la. I was called making I... her way to the la la la, sucking a la in the la la la. I was called the sexist pig on Twitter. It's All like, right. why are you following me then, you asshole? Could be worse things to be but, called um, in worse places. She was comatose, and the story goes, it's really simple, and I wish I had fucking filmed it. I was stupid. But they were trying to get her in a cab. She was done for the day. Santa Cotton was done for her, even though it was like 2 in the afternoon. Uh-huh. And um, all of a sudden, the cab pulls up because uh, Santa Claus waves down the cab. Guy's thinking he's got a Santa Claus fare, no problem. Sure. All of a sudden, they open the door, and they're trying to like, they're trying to throw this mess in the back seat. She's not even... She's not even awake. She's completely gone. My my picture uh, captured it perfectly. And uh, the cabbie finally realizes, what the fuck? Jumps out and starts screaming, no, 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 no. No. <laughs> and then everyone was getting pissed at the cab uh, driver. And I'm thinking, I was on the side of the cab driver. He, he doesn't want to have to deal with this shit. Puking in his cab. And, and puke. she, she ends up puking in the cab that he's done for the day. If she fucking has a, a, a alcohol right. OD right. in the cab, then, then what? If she wakes up and has some hallucination that the cabbie fucking touched her inappropriately, yeah. 
but she was hammered. And then there like, was yeah, that's fucked up. Then there was a screaming match, and it almost came to some of that uh, fisticuffs oh, with the ooh. cab guy because the cab guy was insistent, and these guys are saying, "What the fuck?" And they're getting really pissed, and they're trying to hold the door open and shove her in anyway. <laughs> and finally, the cab driver won, and I'm I, and I was thinking, good for him. He doesn't want to have to deal with. Her because she decided yeah. to get completely fucking snotted hold her at two in the afternoon. Liquor, hold her liquor. She wasn't even conscious. I wonder what happened to her. Yeah, yeah. I got a picture where a friend is just holding her up as her neck is completely or her head is completely forward, and she's dra being dragged on her heels. Dragged on her like heels. Her legs are straight out. And they're, her, they're picking her up under her arms. Can you get and that dragging for her by the heels? It's like it's like they're pulling wounded off the yeah. battlefield. And her her skirt was completely hiked up. Nice. Uh, <laughs> my brother-in-law got some panty shots. I missed the panty shot. I fucked up. Oh, I fucked up. Man. I fucked up. That's why I, you got to go with the vid. Well, at one point, you this is screen cap. This is how they were trying to get her. You're you're absolutely right. Yeah. This is at one point that the guy put her over his shoulder, so panties oh. for everyone to see. That's how he was trying to get her in the cab. Jimmy, look at this picture. From Santa Con. That's like someone's just being hauled away a oh. after being shot. Just God, look at her legs. If I was the cabbie, I absolutely would have fucked. I put her up front. Yeah, put her up front. I'll make sure she's up okay. Tiny the whole way. <laughs> I would have made this noise as I pinched her ass. <laughs> um. <laughs> Uh, what was I gonna say? Uh, yeah, she is fucked up. Her hair's yeah, down in her guess. face. Just fucking gone. So the chicks were dressed like little sexy Santas. Oh my god, yeah, and really short skirts. And then everyone thinking they were gonna be the only uh, buddy from uh, the Will Ferrell thing, buddy. Uh, yeah. Oh, buddy right. the elf. Yeah. There's so many buddy the elves. It's uh, it wasn't even funny. And then, can you show? Anthony, the other picture. Anthony said he's seen this before. Go the other way. I, on the way home, I saw a cabbie, another cabbie, stopping in pretty much in the middle of the street during his shift to pray to Allah. Have you ever yeah. seen this, Jimmy? No. Yeah, I see. He put his rug down on the do sidewalk and he did his uh, his thing. <laughs> he's facing Mecca. Oh. And yeah, because the sun his... was going down and he was doing his thing. You know what? Not one person fucked with this guy. Nah, people and don't were, usually fuck with religious people. Nah, I, I don't even mean that, but maybe just say something. And people were like, don't even mess with this at all. Because people mess with everything in New York City. Well, you'd get a fucking hate crime put on you in a No, I don't mean they, they should have, but, I, you know, they, everyone was well behaved. You know what I mean? Huh. As the guy just put his rug down and started praying Allah in the middle of How would he put his wig down? If you ever give a toupee, you should keep it on. <laughs> Too wordy. <No. laughs> but that Santa Con sounds like... Looked like a blast. Uh, looks like a pain in the ass. A bunch of drunks dressed like Santa. The bar's great down. Time to knock off a bank, though. Yeah, dressed right. Like Santa. What do you look? You look like Santa. Yeah, great. We have twenty thousand suspects. The bars were just filled. Uh, some of these bars, I think, they wouldn't even let you in unless you're dressed like Santa Claus because you were looking in the window and it was just a <laughs> sea of. <laughs> Santa Clauses. <laughs> I'm just doing my Santa impression. People are asking me if this girl was hot. I couldn't tell because her head was completely forward. The hair yeah. was in her eyes. Some people said her thighs were a little beefy. I didn't think her thighs were beefy at all. I wouldn't yeah. let you know. Huh? Hard to Pinch tell. Him. Because I don't think that's all thigh. I think that's some ass there because yeah, a little her, of everything. her skirt is being pulled up by the other girl's leg <laughs> because she's like slumping. Sure. So I think I see a lot of ass there. But um, mm. Mm. and then I went to St. Patrick's Cathedral. Oh yeah. Well, it was the tourist day. It was a it was a tourist day. You know, we had a uh, family in town, mm. and some asshole. I'm going up the aisle. He goes, "Hey, take your hat off. It's a church." So then I take my hat off because I, I can. Think it, I think it's a church official. I'm like, oh fuck! All right, I'll, I'll show a little respect. You know, even yeah. though everyone else is there just to take pictures, no one's worshiping or praying. <laughs> Most people are in there just to you know to, to get warm for an hour or two, have sex, sex possibly whatever. Yeah, and then I look and realize he's just a fucking idiot. He has nothing to do with the church. Of course not. Well, he didn't want you um, f messing up God's house with your hat. Why is he? That's disrespectful to have a hat on while talking with the deity who created black holes in the universe. <laughs> And, and stars and space time. God's like, hey, remove that thing from your head. <laughs> Fucking assholes people are. Go fuck yourself. God doesn't care. God made hats. He had to wear one when he crucified him. Nice. Why do, why do we have to take our hats off you at, don't. at times? You don't. You should have said to that guy, 
Compared to what I got in trouble for oh, in this no place kidding. last time, a hat ain't nothing, pal. That's only the second time I've been there since the incident. <laughs> and I think about it every fucking time. Yeah, man. don't worry. Don't sweat the hat there, pal. Yeah, we did a lot worse. Or you take the hat off and just put on a yarmulke. Yeah. See what he says. Yeah. His head would explode. There you go. He'd well, be very confused. That's what I do now. Or take the hat off and put on a bozo wig. <laughs> <laughs> But why do we take the hats off? Why so, do we take wow. the hats off at sporting events when they do the national anthem? I don't or know why. Crown of, Crown of Thorns or Star Spangled Banner, whatever the one, whatever. It's they out call. of respect. But what's the respect part? Can't you show respect and still have your hat on? What is the respect part of removing your hat? I'm sure it's some oldie time thing. Yeah, I want to know what it is because. You know, it's to ensure you didn't have a weapon under your hat. I could keep my hat on at a hockey game if I was still going to hockey games, and the guy next to me could take his hat off, and he and I'm showing more respect even though I have my hat on in my fucking soul. So what is it about? Uh, Who started it? I bet you it was a president, right? president probably had an itch. JFK. Took, a, <laughs> took, a, <laughs> took his hat off and itched his scalp. Next thing you know, everyone has to do it from now on. <laughs> That's how itched half this shit starts, though. Well, Oswald itched his scalp pretty good. <laughs> uh, people decide not to answer the phones today, I guess. Oh, boy. Yeah. Oh, gee. Uh oh Just E-Rock's ring in and ring in and ring in. Uh, E-Rock, what's the problem in there? No, we see it in here. He, oh. Troy's been answering the phones and uh, putting all the comments up. So it's operator error, not machine error. Uh, <laughs> Troy. Mars is gone Troy. today, so there's ah. been a few bugs. I think I found the answer to your hat question. Oh, All good. right. Good, Sam. Well, uh, it, it, it appears that hats were worn outdoors regularly to protect one's hair and face from dirt outside, uh, which would suppose to assume that continuing to wear one's hat indoors would be an insult to your host, insinuating that their place is is, is See, as dirty as oh, it is. Oh, that's outside. bullshit. See, it's oh, okay. all horseshit. It starts out as horseshit, and now we have to continue uh, doing I'm, it. I'm not buying that. Though, I show respect with my hat on. I don't buy that at all. Is there a second explanation? Yes. Grimaldi's. Because thing. wearing the wearing the hat the is your way of saying that the host's wife is a cunt and you hate her. <laughs> wow. All right, I shouldn't wear that. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we ought to get the hat removal expert in there. <laughs> he was good. Well, look, he taught oh. that lady manners. He sure did. Crypt keep her hair. <laughs> <sighs> oh. A man removing his hat when he entered a household was an ancient vestige of a man removing his helmet as a gesture that he trusted the host not I, to sing a, swing a sword at his head. You know, I, I, I was goofing when I said to make sure he didn't have a weapon under it. Every one of these things always goes back, like the handshake, to some kind of, I want to make sure that guy isn't trying to kill me move. It's like, well, the handshake is to walk up and make sure that their right hand is now occupied and cannot draw a sword on or you. if they're left-handed. And then they got then to, they got the fucking, South Paws they won. got to jump on you. A lot of South Paws won. Then why isn't there more <laughs> South Paws in this world? I don't know. Because hmm. you killed them before they got a chance to get the jump on you. Right. <laughs> you just kill them all. <laughs> Taking your hat off indoors shows respect just like extending your middle finger shows disrespect. It is just a convention we have agreed upon. All right, I'll, I'll agree with that. That sounds more reasonable than a stupid hel- ancient Roman war helmet, <laughs> a Roman war hat. Let me just put my balls and cock on your head. <laughs> <laughs> That's dumb. Yes, that is stupid. Anything on the phone's worth going to? Because I can't tell from here. No. Nah. Let's judge Fuck by it. history. Right. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we started with Bloomberg. He actually, we actually have audio how he wants to be the greatest mayor of all time. If, yeah. if so I just came up. to you and said, you know, Mr. Mayor, we've taken a hard look at this. We think this would not just be a vanity play. You could actually win this thing. No. Would you change your mind? No. No way, no how. Thank no God. way, no how. So, so your supporters who, who create all this buzz should cease and desist? Uh, they, I don't think most of them do create this buzz. I mean, yes, they should cease and desist, but uh, most of this is um, just because the press wants to have something to write about. But the bottom line is, I've got a great job. I want to go out being uh, uh, having a reputation as a very good, maybe the greatest mayor ever. And I'm lucky I have three predecessors, uh, Giuliani and uh, Dinkins and Koch, all of whom have been very helpful in trying to make me about a man. Oh, really, Dinkins? How? How, Dinkins? You didn't like the Dinkins? Ugh, what a waste of time that whole fucking <coughs> mayorship was. That was our shot at the black mayor. Every city gives uh, the yeah, black mayor a Yeah, that was a good shot. one. Boy. 
He was fantastic, wasn't yeah. he? Wasn't Running he? to fucking criminals' bedsides while the, a cop is fucking shot in the hospital. Uh, 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 not not stopping the riots and fucking uh, Crown Heights. Uh, Crown Heights. Uh, the Jews and the blacks beating the fuck out of each other. Actually, the blacks beating the fuck out of the Jews, but and the Jews, you know, bleeding know. all over the blacks. <laughs> I wouldn't say of course to that. <laughs> no, I mean Crown the, Heights. Just the Jews remember, don't play, man. No, they don't. Oh uh, no, no, they I, don't I, fucking I know. play. They, uh, yeah, they, they take well, care of each other pretty well too. Well, they. Uh, he, Dinkins was just a, a horrible bag. mayor. Wasn't the economy bad though when oh. he was the mayor? Well, he. That, yeah, that then, was old school New York, right? Yeah, that was the that was the last kind of bastion of old school New York that you see in the old gritty movies and stuff, mm -hmm. uh, where there's a lot of crime, a lot of shit going on in Times Square and stuff. And then Giuliani came in, and what was the difference there? He was able to fucking fix things. You know why? Giuliani was fucking hated, but he knew what the city needed. He knew what the city needed to be a, a money making yep. tourist attraction venture, but a lot of people don't like it. A lot of the old school people, a lot of people like the, you know, porn shops all over the place and, and stuff. But if you wanted a city that was going to make money, uh, that b business was going to come to, then Giuliani did an amazing job. And uh, and Bloomberg is just riding the, the, the tails of that. Mm. I mean, he wasn't the one that he's brought a lot more business in because he is a good businessman. Yeah. But as far as being a mayor that's in touch with the people and knows what the people in New York need and want, there could not be. A person that is further from that than fucking Bloomberg. He's completely out of touch. Out of touch. The guy does it. And the worst part is he thinks he is in touch. He really thinks he knows what New York uh, City, what the people in New York right. City wants and needs. He's getting rid of our trans fats. He's getting rid of our salt. Yeah, you know, that's fine. He's giving uh, us bike lanes. He's giving us a lot of trees. I, I just... What else is he doing? He... The commute still sucks, so thanks for that. Yeah, he's fucking with the, the bike infrastructure. Lane. I don't understand why he's worried about... Put, I, I, I like riding my bike, by the way, so I would probably I probably should be for this. Well, then how about bike paths that only bikes take? I've seen them on the west side That's and shit I, like there's that. There's plenty of those, by the way. You don't have people. to put them in the fucking streets and take a lane of traffic away. My biggest problem with this um, city in Bloomberg is... You know, doing all these dumb little things when there's real issues out there. Yeah, yeah. Like, the commute into New York is uh, officially kills people. Yeah. People have heart attacks because of the stress yes. of getting in and out of this fucking place. Yep. And instead of, like, acknowledging that and go, wow, we got to really figure this out. It's not going to be an easy solution. They just kind of ignore all that year after year after year. And then they're like, oh, let's, pl let's plant some trees. Let's, uh, let's put yeah. another bike lane in. Let's close down half a Times Square to traffic. Yay! The tunnels, the bridges, the—it's just—it's a nightmare. I like the, I like the tunnels here. being cleaned at night, though. I think that's important. Holy shit! Yeah, why? <laughs> I like why a clean you, tunnel. I why? love a clean tunnel. Why don't do you, you need a clean tunnel? I don't even care if a vagina is clean, much less a tunnel <laughs> I'm driving through. <laughs> that big douchey truck that drives through. Right. What a pain in the ass that thing is. So get around it. I well. mean, to to be the greatest mayor of all time, I, you got to tackle some of these really tough. Tough um, uh, things that are going on and, and fix them. Nothing's better than being. Um, here's somebody that's out of touch. When you change traffic patterns to the point where you are maybe a block and a half away from where you need to be, but they fucked up being allowed to turn, not being allowed to turn. You can do this, but you can't do that. Well, you have to go in the opposite direction that you want to go for blocks on end in to order turn to around. turn around. I get no where turns, today. no turns until Park Avenue. And you're like way on the east side. You're facing the wrong way. It's like now I got to go to park and fucking uh, uh, make a, a right and then come back down the other way. Well, that's to keep traffic moving, though. It doesn't work. If it doesn't work, then that's it stupid. It doesn't fucking work. And again, oh, again, Friday, I got in a fucking yelling match with a, a, a <laughs> cab driver. Of course you did. <laughs> a cabbie that fucking was, was in my straight arrow lane waiting to make a left turn. And he's right in the middle the whole time. And then the last minute, he curves his car over to the left, but still blocks my lane. Sure. And I miss the light. Now oh. we're neck and neck. 
So I just roll my window down. I go, you, and he looks at me first and goes, motherfucker, because I beeped at him. I go, I'm the motherfucker? I go, roll your window down, you fucking savage. You can't drive, prick motherfucker. And people are just laughing. I love entertaining the masses on the sidewalk. And why would he say, call, curse at you? Because I was beeping at him, and he, and you know why? Oh, I he had no hate clue. This. He had no clue why I was beeping. I just drive. I drive my town car, and you beep at me. I was drive. Now, you don't know what you're doing. <laughs> I was drive. I was drive. Did Get you tell the him? Fuck. I said, I went, I went, there's two lanes here. One to turn left. And he's just going, fuck you. Fuck you. You know how hard it is sometimes? I believe me. <laughs> I really, I don't know how you do it. Yeah, there I, are reasons that you and I did not apply for the same things. Exactly. I'm with you. Oh, you dirty fucking oh, finger going up. Ah, oh. oh, that's what it was. And then, but the thing is, I'll also, I will come so close to their cars as they take off. Now the light turned green. And, uh. I came so close to his car that he beeped his horn and, and pulled his car over. Like, he thought I was going to hit him. I'm just laughing. Fuck him. Goddamn savages. Wouldn't you love to just Every fucking punch time. his face? I would love it. That's why I'm sorry. But when I hear that a town car driver was found slumped over the wheel with a bullet to the back of his head, I can't feel any fucking yep. sympathy. Who he cut off? they're all fucking scumbags. I hate the livery car drivers. They're not the cabbies. I'm not talking about every fucking yellow cab driver. I'm talking about the black Lincoln Continentals that drive around with these fucking, these fucking excuses for life in it. They don't know how to drive. They're amongst the worst drivers I've ever seen. They don't know how. Do you understand how many of these side streets, and we call them side streets because they're not like the big avenues in Manhattan, but any of these side streets that have two usable fucking lanes at any given moment. And they only use one. And one, these motherfuckers make it are using it like one. a runway. Right. They're right down the, do the fucking dotted white line. There's plenty of room on either side. <laughs> it's a move! <laughs> Using it like a runway. I hate and these Anthony's, people. Anthony's commute is nothing compared to Oh, it's, else's. believe me, it's nothing. At the hours I, I commute, yeah. it's not but a lot it, of but traffic. But it still drives you nuts. It drives me crazy because I know it's a 20-minute drive from door to door. It's a 20-minute fucking drive with no traffic. I understand the way home, there's going to be more traffic, but it's not an hour's worth of a fucking drive. Right. Get out of the way. Oh, get out of the way. We got a lot of tourists in town. Yeah, they're, they're doing their Christmas shopping. They come in, in in December. The pedestrians are a whole nother story, man. When you when when I'm trying to get around again, the left turn and straight arrow thing. If there's somebody, and now I got to squeeze a little further to the right to get around them, and I got a green light. Forget. Why it. the fuck is a pedestrian standing in the street? <laughs> I don't know. They're they're not on the sidewalk. <laughs> they're in the crosswalk, standing in the lane. I'm using. How many? How many have you brushed? I've brushed. No, a few. I don't brush anybody. I but brush. I, I lay on that horn. I don't hit. The I window's brush. down in a second, and I'm yelling, "You fucking if, asshole!" If you know your vehicle, the side view uh, mirror, you yeah. could, you could do a little brushing. Just I don't a little brush. Bit. No, not a hit. A brush. And and like I said, I have my <laughs> fingers on. The mirror uh, fold in, fold out, because the Escalade, the yeah. whole mirrors fold yeah. in and out. Yeah. And there are sometimes I'll be looking going, yeah, this is a fold in. <laughs> fold it in, boom, shoot between a double park car and something else. And then <laughs> fold them back out. But you should fold them back out and slap someone in the face with your side view yeah, mirror. Yeah, believe me, I'd like to. <laughs> I, I wouldn't like the lawsuit that would bring. you got to brush. But it, you can't brush. You, you do a sharp right turn, and, oh, the, you and, and you're brushing right at the you last minute. You can't brush. You, you're going to get a little brush. You're going to get arrested. Not if they're going to get sued. Not if they're in the road. Pedestrians always have the right of way. I'm not always. hitting. I'm brushing. Always brushing, brushing is a hit. I'm brushing. A brush is a hit. I'm brushing. Brush is a hit. You're, you're gearing up for a lawsuit, my friend. You Why the guy, the animal that took out my side view that time? I didn't get a lawsuit on that one. No, he because he scariest, brushed you. <laughs> one of the scariest fucking moments ever. That was a big motherfucker. I looked right at his his. I want to kick your ass face when he knocked your mirror off well, your car. It's everything you're talking about, where the guys just taking a sweet old time while we had the green oh, light. Was it, yeah, and I I decided to tap him because he was being yeah. an asshole, and and I learned quickly that I was I was I was in the wrong fucking place. This guy. I know we've told the story, but for the new listeners, this guy in one punch took out a very complicated, involved yeah. side view mirror. He just smashed the fucking thing and then just grunted and walked away. And like walked big away, foot. and we just lo <laughs> we locked great. our doors and we just oh, took a couple it. of fags. We took it like the sissies we really we are. A couple of fags. 
It was, uh, he took it out, though. And, and he was doing something that I can't stand either. It, it's A lot of times there's traffic across the intersection, and I know I can't go. I have a green light, but I'm not going to be the guy stuck in the middle of the intersection. Right. I don't do that. Right. So there's traffic on the other side. I'm waiting. Now, I still have a green yeah. light. I have a green light. No, that's you got to go somewhere else. Oh my! Yeah, we'll take oh a break no. soon, and you can figure it out. Thanks. Yeah, uh, I, I have a green. <laughs> I know light. it looks like we're not doing much in here. I understand. I know, uh, but people but are just I, coming in and working. I know. While trying to do grab, grab my mouse right in front. I of understand. Like, it looks like we're doing absolutely that? nothing, but we're actually trying to trying entertain break. people. Holy shit! You didn't hear me get scared. Yeah. I heard you go. Ah, startled. That's very, that's very funny. It's very funny. Jimmy was startled. There's a black man in the studio. People, people will use the opportunity when I have a green light, but they know I can't move to now cross in front of me. I don't have a problem with this. You might think I do. I don't. But before you do that, look over at that traffic. And make sure if it's not it's moving. If it's starting to move, Get the fuck don't out of the way. fucking cross in front of me. Or if you are in front of me, hop up your pace a little bit. Mm. Because I want to get through the intersection. It doesn't mean all of a sudden the don't walk now means just walk because I stopped. It means I didn't want to block the intersection, but now that it's clear, I'm fucking going. And I will lay on that horn. And when they are about a foot away from the front of my vehicle, mm -hmm. and you lay on the horn, oh, do they jump and get angry. You got a brush. No brush. Give them a little brush. Can't brush. <laughs> <laughs> very, uh, very uh, I hate uh, it. God, the right. guy just came in. First of all, he's using... I don't know what he was doing. He's, he distracted us. He's that using my ever. computer, which, by the way, I don't have control over this. Screen. This is just a monitor for me right. to see what phone calls are coming in. I don't think in. I have control either, really. But your mouse might work. Yeah, your mouse works for that, right? Oh, I got other. Mine things. works for my left computer and my laptop. So he was working the mouse, the mice that weren't even connected well, to anybody. <laughs> as Jimmy screamed in horror. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> uh, post text not attached to show. Exclamation point. One nine zero zero one okay. zero zero one. You're getting. I'm gonna say okay to that. Yeah, say okay. Waiting for All show. Right. OA host. I'll well, say that's cancel you. that. That's you. Did you're I the do host. it? Did no, I not, do good? You're not helping. What? They're trying to. You know, your your monitors what? are linked to the other room. So in the other room, they'd be trying to fix this. I was. Your, I was just helping them out. No, put, you're being. I more just clicked on some things. Obi, put everyone on the air at once. I don't know if I can. No. Can't you just click all of them? Oh, I can't even click. Uh oh! Oh, they See, fucking, that would be fun they to just watch everybody. Well, you froze me out. You were being a hindrance. Yeah, they fucking. My father used to say that. Mix. Be a help, not a hindrance. A hindrance. I hated the word hindrance, hindrance. and I apparently was being one a lot. You're a hindrance. I was the hindrance kid. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're old hindrance McKilla McKilla Gunny. <laughs> what am I saying? I wish I could McKilla Gunny. I'm a fat pig. <laughs> I just keep mustuffing my gutty. <laughs> oh, <boo. laughs> uh, that's a good idea. Not for me, for Ann, because I don't really drive as much anymore. JD yeah. in New York City. Uh, Ope, you need a little rascal's boxing glove attached to this your side oh, of the mirror. Wouldn't that be great on the little accordion thing? Or yeah, yeah, and you just pull a lever and the punching the big bo red boxing glove punches boing. people in the face. No, you don't want that. It hit somebody. Oh, Jimmy. Troy sent the engineer in. <laughs> Uh, why why do that? We're doing a show. To, he was trying to get the phones back. You know what the interesting as... thing was? Yeah. Is I was in the middle of talking. I know. And and he dove right in front of me. I, I mean, literally right in front of me, which kind of can break your concentration a little bit. I'm that. sorry. Did I break your concentration? <laughs> so it was just a little, you know. Oh, Troy coming to defend? Are you coming to defend yourself? No, I... I uh... Sorry, my fault. I was just trying to get the phones up, up and running for you guys. So I sent him in. So it's yeah. my fault. He, he came right here. Like, his head came right in front of I... me. At, right in the middle of talking. It was a, the honest thing. It was very very difficult to... But I'm a professional. So I, I, I overcame that. Well, Jim got scared, and that was even more and of a Jim got scared because he's never... We never really see someone Engineers. running past or something. Yeah. Jimmy doesn't I, I see know, black people. No, it was because there was a black man in the no, street. No, no, yeah. Jimmy doesn't <laughs> see black nervous. people. He gets very I just, scared I just when got he sees frightened. Them. I held on to my backpack and yelled for the police. Ah, <laughs> help! Me, help! I'm scared of you, sir, and I'm protecting myself. I am protecting though. myself. I am scared of you. Please call the police. <laughs> ah, shit. Thanks, Troy. No, that's okay. Hey, what don't, is this? Don't sweat He's just a young go-getter. What is this Paul McCartney Jimmy Fallon thing about? He uh, he was on Jimmy Fallon show, oh. and he said the original lyrics to "Yesterday" were scrambled eggs, and uh, I think so, we knew that, right? But then they sang it together. Oh, really? As scrambled eggs. They yes. Had a little fun with it. They had a little fun.
Let's see. Let's God, uh, he gets, fucking Lauren Michaels gets Jimmy Fallon really good guests. That's true. How does Letterman not get McCartney, or did he have him? Not that I'm aware of, but I could be mm. wrong. I mean, it might have been a whole are. NBC thing. Cause, oh, he did uh, <laughs> SNL and Jimmy Fallon. Oh, so maybe Lauren, Lauren of, course. Nah. of course. Just hooking it up. Uh, like yesterday, I know the original lyrics, because back then you, you just wanted to remember the timing of the words. The original lyrics were scrambled eggs. Scrambled eggs. Yeah. Oh, my baby, how I love your legs. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's how you remembered the song yeah. yesterday. Yeah. Uh, have you, you never performed the original Scrambled Eggs? I haven't ever done the original version, no. Uh, I was wondering if you wouldn't mind, would you like to perform it tonight? Scrambled Eggs? Yeah. Can I do it? Yeah, yeah. Can I do it? Yes. Scramble eggs. No, scramble eggs. Scramble eggs. Ready? Scramble eggs. Cut. Three. Four. Scramble eggs. Oh, my baby, how I love your legs. Not as much as I love scramble eggs. Oh, we should eat some scramble eggs. Waffle fry. <laughs> Oh, my darling, how I love your thighs. No, I wanted to hear the version that he did about his last scrambled egg. <laughs> scrambled egg. <laughs> oh, my how darling, I... how I love your... Well, you know... <laughs> Leg. <laughs> Paul McCartney's doing a song parody, though. I know, Is right? Shoe warning? Was he? Th no, I don't think he was. Is it going to get into radio? Love your thighs. <laughs> Not as much as I love waffle fries. Oh, have you tried the waffle fries? They are so damn good that they should be illegal <laughs> they're like regular fries but they're shaped like a waffle that's true huh chicken wing chicken wing no no no, no. chicken wing vegetarian no chicken wings oh that's right no, I, oh, forgot. Oh, I forgot I forgot hey. it's actually Get a mad tofu wings. <laughs> oh my baby, when I hear you say You're gonna do it all day. <laughs> all I think about is tofu wings. <laughs> oh did, did you got bring it. the tofu wings? I go home and get There's your fucking shine box. A place I know where I go for kick ass wings. As I love scrambled eggs. Uh, Be more funny. Let's go get some scrambled eggs. This is going great. <laughs> We finally got to sing with Paul McCartney. Oh, of That's course, it's kind of, great. You know, That's pretty fucking cool, right? Yeah. Doing a song parody. I know. It's been like fun? a Scott and Todd thing right there. Oh, shit. Wow. Not even close, though. I apologize to Scott and Todd. No one is as great as you guys when it comes to the song parody. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to seeing him tonight, though. Hell yeah. Scott and Todd? <laughs> no. Of course not. Paul McCartney at the Mac. Apollo Theater. The Apollo Theater. Mm -hmm. All right, well, mm -hmm. uh, you think it's going to be a uh, predominantly uh, white audience in the Apollo Theater? I would think so. Yeah. McCartney? <laughs> Are you okay. Yeah, I was kind of. Joking. How do we get there? Is that one of those practice, 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 practice places? Take me to the bad part of town. Yeah. And then the cab. Yeah, when, I, when you say uh, 
when the cabbie asks where you want to go and then tells you no. <laughs> well, the best part when we come home tonight, when we hail a cab and they go downtown, they scream, thank God. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> I thought I had to go even further north than this. Uh, I hope I don't have to stand out long for a cab or anything. I should get a car. Why don't you drive up there? What? <laughs> Got my car on the fucking nah, man, oh, yeah. Henry Hudson on blocks. It's kind of like Peter Luger's. You you pay the uh, the homeboys to watch your car, or in other words, you pay them so they'll have a Luger. <laughs> they they have a whole deal. I don't know. Gun joke. What? I, I don't know if it, it's still happening, but where Peter Luger's is, remember? Yeah. yeah. You pay the homies, the locals, to watch your car. Oh, you that's you good. park it right on the street, and yeah. you pay them. They're walking everywhere, and how it goes is. You know, they, it's how it goes. They don't touch your fucking car if you pay. Wait, don't they fucking? It's and, called extortion. Uh, of course, it's not it called is. parking. It's extortion. But, but it is a real deal, and it, it's not like they're scamming you and taking your fucking money. It's a real deal that that area has figured Do out. You leaving the keys to valet it? <laughs> <laughs> Can't you valet it, Peter Lucas, or no? Uh, I don't know. It's been years, but yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be a very good steak. There. Damn, it's amazing. Is Peter it really Lugers that good? It's ridiculous. <laughs> Old school, they you, you, cash only. You know, a wooden tables, they could just fucking stab your steak knife right into. It. They don't care. It's crazy. You and call just your initials. They don't a care. Fuckload of amazing meat. Cash business. Do I have in my pants? <laughs> <laughs> Forty two. When I made that joke, I have a nice meat joke, and I'm laughing at it. That's <laughs> <laughs> true. And you're fifty two. <laughs> I mean, I'm not. No, you're not. The Obi and Anthony Show on the virus. Virus. <laughs> Serious XM. All right, moving right along. Gotta give that sleeves credit, man. That is a funny fucking song. <laughs> I knew you would like the sleeves. It's well, it's a funny song. You like the Jim sleeves? Matt. I don't no. like seeing you humiliated like that, Ant. I don't like. Well, yes, the humiliation. He he will pay, but <laughs> nah, that's funny. Funny's funny, motherfucker, and that was funny. <laughs> I know we talked about it earlier, but. The, the coach tripping the Dolphins player is just, what, what are you doing? I know. L like, what are you doing? Giving your job away. Sir, that's a bad move. Yeah. yeah. I, he leaned in. I wonder because, I wonder if his knee was out of bounds, if that's okay and that's going to save his job. No, no way. No way. Fucking no. He fucking As long as the way. knee wasn't on the fucking field. Doesn't matter. No way. He gave that little bend. Yeah, he's so he fired, gave that right? little bend to the knee like, hey, what? just take that with you. What are you thinking? He went he went crazy. I know the team is uh in shambles right now, but it really is. Much like our um New York Islanders? No, no, our our studio. Yeah, I know. Cuz I usually have uh, a wonderful big cup of ice. Well, and I just, oh, Kenny, it's okay. <laughs> I just see Kenny get up. I'm like, ah. Oh, well, why would Kenny help out? Too busy taking care of Kenny, laughing, having fun. <laughs> I didn't want to have Kenny have to get up. I feel bad. You did. You said to me, where's that bum in my ice? <laughs> Look at the CNN footage of uh, the, the past game. They didn't show this in New York yesterday. Yeah, it's just nice and uh, snowy. Old school snow fucking game. God. I when you watch games watching like those. that, you, you really can't tell what year the game is right <laughs> like it's like wow is this is this an why, old game why would the ESPN nfl classic take that away from the fans um revenue with the, with the dumb domes <laughs> it's got to be revenue it's got to be revenue everything think? comes down to the almighty dollar I everybody think. wants to see a snow game right yeah unless it's unless it's a big game and your your team really needs to win to get in the playoffs mm -hmm. and then they got the shitty conditions then you're a little bummed like oh fuck this yeah. is gonna fuck everything up but yeah. In general, man, there's nothing better. You don't see the mud games anymore because that's pretty much... Mud games are great. The fake grass is yeah. everywhere. Yeah, the mud games were always great, though. See who really was in the action that day because it just covered. Covered in uh, yes. brown, brown. The good beauty. old days, I like to call them. Sure. Mm. Uh, we got Michael Madsen calling in. Michael in, Madsen? In a few minutes. Uh, Rowan, says that, Rowan says that he says his new movie is shit and he doesn't want to talk about it. So why is he calling in then? But he's talked about a lot of his shit movies. I, I, the, one of the best times we ever had was when he explained each movie that he hated and why he did it. Yeah. That was great. Well, th this is one of the most interesting facts I've ever seen on a um, little promo sheet for a, a, a guest. According to IMDb, Michael Madsen is working on 28 projects. <laughs> How are you working on 20? How do you work on 28 projects? Thank you, Kenny. You're welcome. 
You're as cold as ice. You're willing to mm-hmm. sacrifice. That's far enough. Yeah. Just... You like that, Chip? Sure. Yeah. Ice is cold. <laughs> I told the girl one time. Yeah. We were kissing. She said, Chippy, your breath stinks. I'm like, you're as cold as ice, woman. I should show her. Yeah. Was she right? Yeah, it smelled like peanut butter. <laughs> and uh, I've been taking antidepressants. <laughs> <laughs> is your mouth dry? And yeah, all there was white stuff in the stuff. corner of my lips a lot. <laughs> Mixed with brown stuff. It looked like a fluff of nutter coming yeah, out of your mouth. Yeah, but when I smiled, <laughs> it was stuck to the side of my mouth. And she peeled it off and made me smell. It was very sour. <laughs> it sounds, sounds wonderful. Yeah, it smelled like the stuff between your toes. So, yeah, uh, he's working on 28 projects. 28 he'll projects? he'll be calling in a few minutes here. Who so. could do that? And they're all ranging, too. He's doing, like, the Bernie Madoff movie, and then he's also doing Not Another, Not Another movie. All right, wait a minute. There's going to be a Not Another, Not, not Another, another movie? movie? That's what it Which said. is a spoof, I would gather, on mm. these spoof movies. Yes. yes. So does not that another. just turn it completely around and negate the fact that it's... And negate the fact that it's... Uh, a goof movie and just make it the regular movie? I loved Not Another Movie. <laughs> not Another Witch Movie. I don't know. Now I'm a little confused. How many have they had? A lot. Not, not another uh, uh, team movie. Good, right? Burt Reynolds. Burt Reynolds. Yeah. Not Another Team Movie was good. That was like the first one. I liked that one a Ooh. lot. But then they started going crazy with Michael them. Madsen. Chevy Chase and Burt Reynolds. Watch out. Wait, wait. Burt Reynolds is playing C.J. Waters? That's what it says. Was he C.J. Waters in another movie? Let's find out. I um. Because you could click on it. No. Uh, no. Okay. It sounds like one of the his characters' kind of names that he would have. You had. ever see the Longest Yard, the new version? Uh, the new version. Yeah. Oh. I, what a pile of horseshit that was. That is an Oscar winner compared to what I had on my television whilst lying in bed again, too lazy to get the remote. <laughs> could be, uh-huh. could very well be, uh-huh. one of the worst movies ever made. Whoa. I Now, can we get a hint? I'm going to take that bet. Wow. Because I saw a really bad movie this weekend, and it, I got tricked because the trailer looked really good. Okay, and this can't be the same movie. No. Because this is a movie that was out a while ago. Let's have a bet. I think my movie is worse than the movie you, you saw. Wow. How do we? How do what we decide? What genre is yours? Well, I had a bunch of people over this weekend, uh, up from Philly, so we decided to kind of chill and put on a, a movie, and and then we're thinking festive, so let's do Christmas movie, and then of course people like Elf, uh, you know, uh, Home Alone mm-hmm. was one of the suggestions. Uh, was it a comedy? Bad Santa. Did I, you end up with a comedy? Yes. Okay. Oh, I know. Mine what, I also I know. an alleged comedy. So good. At least mine we're was on a equal Christmas, footing. Mine was a Christmas theme. Christmas themed. Mine was Christmas not Christmas themed. Theme. Comedy. That's okay though, because we're on equal footing. It's kind of hard to pit a and, drama against the. And comedy. I think I know what Oprah. And, and, and then and say. that damn on demand said trailer, preview, whatever. And I, you I previewed, previewed and went, went, holy shit, this could be really good. Maybe people just never saw this movie. <laughs> Christmas with the uh, Crunks. No. No. I bet I know what it was. That would have been an Oscar winner. You know. I bet I know what your movie was. How are we going to do it? this? I hate when we're all sudden in this, like, fucking no- uh, just com- competition mode. No, no, and no one wants to speak first. Yeah. I know what your movie was. What kind of, what, yours wasn't a Christmas comedy? What was yours about it? Um, how old is yours? Let me, uh... And how are we going to decide which movie was worse? I'll make the decision. I'm, I'm, I'm a movie expert. The, I'm going to see what, <laughs> what the year is here. Don't, um... Although me and my brother-in-law... My brother-in-law and I. No, me and my brother-in-law. <laughs> always. Always. Uh, uh, laughed our asses off at times and then there was a lot of downtime <laughs> a lot of downtime so it had its moments if you it could if you could sit through the downtime okay let me by the way no one would ever guess my movie here. i bet i a christmas it. comedy my movie came from the year 2008 Whoa. i think i think mine came from 2008 2008 i don't know though Can um I... this uh, actor um on the heels of very successful comedies. Is he a, typically a comedic actor? Is it a movie we'll know? Uh, yes, it's a movie you'll know. Uh, you won't know it, mine. It, um, it, uh... The ice skating movie with Will Ferrell. No. No. Oh, good no. God. I, I no. didn't see that one. The one with, is it a Will Ferrell movie? Uh, no. This, this is a movie that Steve I Carell? can honestly say... A Steve Carell movie? 
No. Evan Almighty 2. No, no, a, a no. A Jim Carrey movie? No, no, no. What about your movie? A, uh, a Christmas uh -huh. comedy. Uh -huh. um, and, and it was, is it one of the worst movies you've ever seen? No. Okay, because this to most me, people would say it, it was it was a piece of shit. But like I said, there were times this movie was hilarious. But then it, it's a low budget movie, mine. And mine isn't a surprise. Like I think everyone knew this was a giant hunk of shit. Mine, no one will know. But then maybe they'll know after we talk about this. Yeah. Can I guess um, who starred in yours? Yes. Is it Vince Vaughn? No. Oh, I thought it was Fred Claus. Uh, Anthony. Yes, sir. Vince Vaughn. No. Darn. No nope. language. My Sorry. movie, um, Jingle All the Way. That's no. a good movie. No. <laughs> that was a terrific movie. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't, I don't think I ever saw the whole. It's good. Jingle All the Way movie. Uh, <laughs> we do this. I hate this. A comedic actor mm -hmm. who um, <coughs> also had a franchise. Dan Aykroyd. Nope. Two thousand eight. 2008. Oh, 2008. Um, it's a big movie. Was it successful at the box office? It was an utter bomb. Oh, my goodness. And it sucked <clears throat> so bad <laughs> that I couldn't imagine Aunt that this Christmas guy movie. would would destroy his, his franchise legacy to put this out. Got got it. It. The Zohan? I got it. What is it? I got it. Do you? Michael Myers. The Love, the love guru. guru. The Love dude, Guru. Dude, I dude, got yours. Dude, 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 it dude. was so bad. Why do you think he was on our show? I know. That was the only reason we got Mike Myers on our show. He doesn't come in when he's promoting a, a, a good movie. We, I, we always get the A-listers when they're promoting horseshit. A bomb. Yeah. There wasn't even a chuckle to be had. Like There was nothing... Funny, entertaining, interesting, no redeeming value whatsoever in this fucking lump of shite. But there were characters. Oh, plenty of characters. And uh, it might as well was, have been... Wasn't uh, Justin Timberlake in that? Yes, Justin Timberlake was in it. I didn't even know what was happening. Like, story-wise, it just was... It was awful. And his character was stupid... And he was trying to fit Austin Powers-ish jokes in with this new character. It was like, let's take a, a, a guru guy who's supposed to be Indian and stuff and just make him the fucking Austin Powers character. And throw and, some hockey and, in and there. And throw like, hockey in there, yeah. which didn't make any sense. And, and it, was it edgy? <laughs> Did you watch the whole thing? No, I actually did get up and, and just you finally got out of bed. But this was laying in bed. I watched a, a large majority of it, though. I watched a, big, a large portion of it. Enough to know it wasn't going to get better. It, huh. it was shit on my screen. If I would have shit in my hand and then just rubbed it all over my flat screen, <laughs> laid back down in bed, I'd have been more entertained <laughs> watching my finger-painted shit how does, on my Sony Bravia. How does he fuck it up so bad when he has characters? A character-driven movie that he's been it, very successful with, obviously. Because he, I, his, this character wasn't funny. It was just That's dumb. He was an American raised in India. Why do you want to join the Tugging My Puda Ashram? So girls will like me. Then I will like myself. <laughs> Who has learned the ways of love. If you follow my method, you'll get your wife back. From Paramount Pictures and uh, Spyglass Entertainment, uh, you can doubt his methods. Guru, please, what is your plan? All right! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Okay. But you can argue with his uh. results. Damn. 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 Looks like he's smuggling a schnauzer. Mike Myers. Uh. Ooh. Ooh. I'd like to thank the Academy. Wow. These things are heavy. Yeah. Put me down, jackass. Okay. Oh, what a hip joke. I love Guru. June 20th. That's his carpet. Backing up. Vroom. All the sound effects you know, for the trailer. Seems edgy. Vroom. Yeah. Vroom. Yeah.
Usually when we play a trailer, we, we fill in the blanks visually for everybody, but yeah. that's so bad, I didn't even feel like doing it. We just all had butthead faces like, on, is what fuck. it was. We just, fuck. Ugh. Ugh. It was so bad. Hmm. Wow. So that, that was uh, I probably think mine... amongst the top. I'll put it in the top five awful movies that I've seen of all my life. Wow. Did you, uh, you didn't laugh at all? Not even a chuckle here it, or there? Not even close to laughing. Actually, the movie made me angry. Ooh, a comedy good. made me angry. And look at these dopes. 15% 15 positive reviews from the uh, reviewers. The and then 39% of the audience actually liked it. Did you see Love Guru? <laughs> Fucking kicked ass. It's so funny. Mike Myers is great. It was. You win, by the way, because uh, we were howling uh, a few times during my movie uh, called uh, Cooper's Christmas. Exactly. Ew. No one heard of this. What is it? Uh, Dave Foley's in it. Dave Foley. Okay. Good old Dave Foley. Could you get the uh, maybe the uh, trailer? It was really hard to find on Rotten Tomatoes, but it was on demand. This Christmas. It wasn't even that. It's it, it's during kinda, the holiday. It's kind of low budget, kind of uh, Danny McBride ish before Danny McBride became a huge star. Yeah. Here's the trailer. Huh? Oh, wicked, a video camera. Look how small it is, too. And we're going to take the best Christmas ever, right? With me giving out presents to Marcus. One up to Mommy. I think it's time you learn the truth about fine. Santa. He don't always bring you what you want. He can't afford it. It's Christmas 1985. And they're playing back to Christmas 25 Most well, someone popped a baby boner for his cousin. Hey, look, hey. Look, hey. Look, hey. 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 Just pandemonium being recorded. Ah, looks okay. Who the hell is gonna watch this? Oh, language. Yeah, you don't want to piss off God on his baby boy's birthday. <laughs> All right. It, I don't look that it bad. Didn't you can look see, that you bad. can see how it would have potential. There's some funny lines in there, right? Yeah. So, what was the problem? And and the little uh, the little niece comes to the door for the big Christmas Day uh, festivities, and yeah. she's now like 17, and she's blossoming. She's and hot. And uh, the father, or her, her uncle, I guess it would be, zooms right in on the, the, the boobs. Yeah, yeah. And then the little kid got a boner. Yeah. There was a lot of downtime in between those funny In between lines the that, funny scenes that we yeah. just saw in the trailer? It was one of those? Yeah, you just saw the best part of the movie uh, in the trailer. Yeah, I hate when they do that. Unfortunately. I usually, uh, when I go to an on-demand movie, and I'm not sure about it, and I hit play trailer, mm -hmm. I will play the trailer just long enough to go like, all right, this looks interesting, and then stop the trailer. Oh, really? I never watch an entire trailer if the movie starts looking... Mm. The second it starts looking interesting in the trailer, I turn the trailer off and start watching the movie. That is fucking brilliant. I, because I don't want to wreck the fucking movie. Because all of us are like, oh, the trailer, we got to watch the whole trailer. Nope. And then you ruin the movie for don't, yourself. I sh sometimes I can't shut it off fast enough. I'm like, I cover my eyes and I'm hitting the button. I'm going, la, 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 la. Yeah. Because I don't want to... At least wanna you don't handle it, it like an ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you handle it like an adult. Of course I do. <laughs> this isn't a good... First of all, it was called Cooper's Camera originally. Oh. But on demand, it's called Cooper's Christmas. It was filmed in 2008, and there's no score yet, meaning no one has gone out of their way oh. in the last two years to review this movie. To review movie. it at all. <laughs> at all. Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> Who's starting it? Uh, a lot of kind of nobody. It is kind of nobody as ish is. Dave Foley was in it for a little bit. <clears throat> Jason Jones, Dylan Everett. The lead guy kind of looks familiar. The they father. all looked kind of familiar. Kind of familiar. So. Fucking internet stinks in this place. You gotta get hardwired. Get the fu You were supposed to get a fucking Cat5 out of this router right into your fucking computer. I got one for mine. It's oh. lovely. I and, never lose connection. And Cash is from Brooklyn. Oh, sucks. Uh, he wants to know your uh, other four movies. <clears throat> Oh, as far as horrible ones? I'd have to think about it. I was just saying, like, that has to be in the top five. Uh, I can't even remember. I, I, I know. I, can't I, I really I have even to put a list together think anymore. about it. I will put a list together, and I will tweet it.
And it's got to be movies that you actually saw. That you, I saw, You were yeah. stuck in a movie theater or there something. There might be worse movies. I can't even remember, because you forget about but, it as quickly as possible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't I even mean, name one. Obviously, I can name Caddyshack 2. Caddyshack yeah, funny. 2 is I, one of the worst movies ever made. Yeah, it's, I, it's, agreed. It's embarrassingly And I did bad. see that whole movie. So there you go, there's yeah. one. No, you can't do things like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes or Killer Clowns from Out of Space. No, they're supposed Those to be. Those are like, they're, they're supposed to be campy and fucked right. up. These are movies that they put out thinking they were going to be good, and they sucked fucking balls. There's nothing better than the movie that's so bad it's funny. Yeah. Yeah. Example of that, well, it wasn't a bad movie, but I, I saw it as a comedy, was that About Schmidt. We talk about that one. About Schmidt. Yeah, it was good. Uh, that movie Bill is... Bill is one of my favorites of all time. And times. it's not supposed to be a comedy. It's not supposed comedy. to be funny. But it sure is funny. It's hysterical. I didn't see Battlefield Earth. I knew that would be horrible. Battlefield Earth wasn't even bad to the point of one of the worst movies, top five worst movies. It's a bad movie, but it's like, it's an I don't care movie. Mm -hmm. Not like it didn't make me angry. Mm -hmm. I have to be made angry for the movies to get up there. It's like, I'm so pissed this is a movie. Yeah, I can't even remember. <laughs> yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll All think right. about it. Should we take a break so we're ready for Michael Madsen? I don't know when he's calling. He was yeah. supposed to call already. Oh, I thought it was nine thirty on the sheet. Oh, nine thirty. It says nine a.m. phoner. Nine a.m. phoner. Jimmy. Jimmy. Then it said any other fucking uh, little tidbits you want to throw into the show? I <laughs> thought it was nine. <laughs> but I, I. We have Putin singing uh, "Blueberry Hill." Yeah, what's with Bl Putin? I don't know. So what is that? this one about, there, Sam? Is Does it a know? new song there? Vladimir. He should be Putin his singing Putin. career on hold. <laughs> ah, that's kind Michael of Madsen's tip. not picking up shit. He's dead. Oh no, I don't think he's. Well, dead. Are we reporting it here first. Yes, he's not picking up. Not a he's good sign. He's died. Oh, he's ah. not dead. Michael yep. Madsen was raped to that death. We know of. <laughs> <laughs> that Metrodome snow pouring out is just an yeah, awesome video. That's a good what one. a great video. Uh, what's the Putin thing about? He was, it was some event. I don't know exactly what the event was, but it was tons of celebrities and political people in the audience. He got up on stage and he did a little number. And of course you you would be dead, Anthony, with the snow. You see that? The more I look at that. If it you're, looks all puffy. And, and, and If you were standing below that, you would be dead. It's all puffy. And is that people on the field when it happened? It looked like there was a couple of people. like Here and there, just kind of checking things out? I don't know. I don't know. A lot of the shit, like speakers and stuff. Are falling down. And, yeah. yeah that's a good so one. he was just at some appearance and decided to sing Blueberry Hill? It was like a cancer event. He was trying to raise money. For cancer? Yeah, uh, the treatment of. Oh. Sorry. I found my <laughs> oh, God. Oh, And stripper gets up and give me the money. They're all whores. My dreams came true. Do we have to play the whole thing? I Here. found my thrill <laughs> on Blueberry Hill. <laughs> that guy stinks. Does it get better? You're allowed to play as much as you want, but you didn't play the whole Paul McCartney song, so you could at least play I, the whole... I gave him a taste of that. did play the whole Paul... Oh, the, the scrambled eggs we heard. We did scrambled eggs. Right, but funny. Thank God we heard that whole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that went a little long. Uh, you know, it really stinks over there in Russia. God, even the music is just... It's not even like the oldie <laughs> mm. Blueberry Hill from here. Why they get, why don't um, they the Maitreal? Why don't they throw a little color into their communism? Yeah, I know, I know they're not as bad at the commie thing, but why 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 no colors if you're a communist nation? Well, they're not commie anymore, but they, I understand. They're, but they they act like they still are. But so when you see these nations that are kind of like keeping their people down, they never use color. Why? Yeah, have some fun. Have some fun with your gussy things up. <laughs> Oh, God. Benjamin Buttons. 
It's not w- top five worst movies of all time. No, no. Should have been no. better than it was. That's That wouldn't be top five. No way. Can I point out how stupid we are wondering if that would actually kill people? The weight of it caved in the roof of the Metrodome. <laughs> <laughs> and we're wondering. I said it would kill people. He said it looked fluffy. It looks fluffy. How much snow can you take on your head before it fucking breaks something? It's probably giant chunks of ice of is what, it, what the problem is. We think it's like whoosh. fine powder. It's shushing skiing powder. <laughs> yeah, we're thinking it's like being in a snow globe. Yeah, all nice. All nice and stuff. Semi-pro. Semi-pro is bad, but not uh, not top five worst movies of all not time. Not top bad. five worst movies. It's a Bad Boy Bubby ruled Scott in Jersey. Even the first, though it uh, got... first half hour to 40 minutes of that movie ruled. Yeah, the first part of it made up for the, how shit. Can we get the, the Bad Boy uh, Bubby trailer? It's been a while. You want to see a twisted fucking film. Bad Boy Bubby. Mm. Yeah, that was fucked up. Where's our copies of Bad Boy Bubby? I used to show that to people. I, still got, I got mine on uh, my um, system now. This is an Australian film. It was just so fucking out there. Here's the trailer. Bad Boy Bubby. Wake Forest is using Toyota soft. This is an advertisement. Are they? Jesus. It sounds like Bad Boy Bubby. No, it sounds like a commercial for some type of automobile. Uh, uh, something. How many seconds before our video starts? Five. Oh, Three yeah. hours. I want to time it perfectly. I don't want. All right, here we go. <laughs> That's pretty hard to fucking do. At first, he did seem to spend a lot of time alone. Yeah. Mum looked after him. <laughs> Washed him naked. <laughs> Although sometimes she called it's him like Neil the bad boy Bubby. And there was always cat to play with. Then one day, hey son, you can call me Pop. Pop came back, and everything changed. Pop, pop, pop. Pop, pop. All right, don't go making a big thing of it. Bad boy Bubby went on a voyage of discovery. I just like when his mother fucking yeah was washing him washes naked. him naked and she blows him or some <laughs> shit. I don't know what's <laughs> going on. Sex. They make him have sex with it. It's just so fucked up. <laughs> She's like old school communist mom. Yeah, that is really fucking a, a twisted. Yeah. And then it just really goes South. bizarre. I don't know what's happening. This is how behind the times they are there. The singing this is terrible. Hey, people have noticed I've gotten better at my uh, Tilly Do horn. Yes, thank you. I love the fact that what? Not, not only is he <laughs> Russian, but he was like, at one point, I guess, the premier of the country. <laughs> yes. And they're singing to raise money for cancer, and we're like, he don't sound like the record. Yeah, he <laughs> sucked. He don't sound like the record at all. <laughs> they picked a creepy song. He though. found my dream <laughs> and blueberry heel. <laughs> <laughs> uh, worst movie ever. Can we get a list from the internet? Yeah, but, but theirs probably aren't even, like, the worst. Well, There's probably the worst, like, artistically and shit like that. What right. about, what about Rotten about? Tomatoes might have worst of the worst? Horrid. This is the worst of the 2000s. Witless Protection. Didn't uh, see it. Uh, why? I saw th- that. Oh, the 2000s are over? Redline. Didn't see it. Uh, this is your list for the worst movies of the 2000s. Three Strikes. Didn't Three strikes, see it. Three Strikes. Didn't see it. 
Strange. That's the problem with these. No one see these movies. No one saw these movies. Super Babies, Baby, Baby Geniuses, Geniuses 2. Too. That's got to be really fucking bad. Didn't see that. National Lampoon's Gold, Gold Diggers. Diggers. Didn't see that. No, didn't Worst see Worst movies it. of the 2000s. We're up King's to number Ransom. four. King's Ransom. No. No, no, didn't see that. Three, Pinocchio. Pinocchio. Didn't see that. You're lying. <laughs> Runner-up was One Missed Call. Didn't see it. Worst movie of the 2000s. Ballistic X versus Seaver. That is the Sever. That's the one. Sever. Was. Yeah, that was it. it that movie you wasn't a it. good movie. I did see it. It wasn't good, but it wasn't like the worst movie I've ever seen. They're saying worst movie of the two thousands. It it was bad, but you know there was shooting and action in it. What was it called? Ballistic. Now let's do best movies of the two thousands while we're at it. Yay! You saw one out of the ten. Yeah, and you see a lot of stuff. I see a lot of on-demand shit. You see a lot of movies. I want to see. I'm the, uh, on demand. I'm on. I'm the on-demand key. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you best movies of 2000s. We've seen at least seven of them. Let me see. Best movies of the 2000s. We got a list. Yeah. Checking it twice. Yeah. Let's do this. This is because uh, Michael Madsen decided not to call our fucking show today. Oh, he's in L.A. Probably sleeping. He's yeah, probably being I cute. I don't blame sleeping. him. He's probably bummed that the Jets fucking collapsed. You think he? What are you gonna do? What are you doing? Yeah, do, 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 do. Hey, by the way, when we come back, I think we should have Rob bring our tickets so we can see where we're sitting. Hey, that's a good idea, God damn it! Make I sure, want to know. Make sure men of similar ilk have good tickets. Watch, they give us like single, two single tickets, so sitting on opposite ends of the fucking place. That suck, right? You know how fast you get fired for heckling McCartney? Oh my god! We just run up on the stage and fucking get a picture with stage him. dive. Do get a scrambled picture. Start yelling into the mic and singing. Right. Yeah. Yesterday! She loves to, yeah, 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 yeah. Fucking security tackles you. You'd be so fired. The seating chart was a very complicated thing to figure out. I would what? imagine. It took, like, all last week. Yeah. Oh, to find out who's sitting Make where? Make sure that everybody's sitting in the right spot. And, you, know you know what? Mr. I, McCartney has his interests. And... I best not be shunned. I best not be in uh, the uh, Lincoln seats up there, uh, up top. Uh, I think you're going to be in the Lincoln seats. I don't. I think nice. we're all going to be in the Lincoln seats. Oh, uh, top movies of the 2000s. We'll only do the top ten, but some some movies that should be mentioned that didn't make the top ten. Avatar, The Hurt Locker to make the top ten of the 2000s. Crazy. Uh, Precious did and Slumdog <laughs> Millionaire did not. Pan <sighs> Dude, all right, so Pan's let's do the top ten. pretty sick. Top ten movies of the 2000s. Lord of the Rings, The Fellowship of the Ring. Never saw it. Oh, the Lord of the Rings movies rule. I like the Lord of the Rings uh, Then you got the Brokeback Mountain. Uh, uh, not one of the best movies ever. movie. No. Pain. Come on, spit in the hand and fucking oh, fuck him in the ass. It was great. Not one of the best movies Pain's right. Labyrinth. Number Didn't eight. Labyrinth. That was pretty sick. I saw that. Uh, number seven, No Country for Old Men. I love saw that. that. Yeah, I think so. Mystic uh, River was the saw that. stunk number six movie of the 2000s. It was you not good. No, it wasn't good. Uh, number five, The Departed. Not that good. Uh, not that good. Someone no. likes fucking Boston. No, no. Uh, number four, The Pianist. I liked The Pianist with Adrian Brody. Yeah, that it was, was good. good. Uh, right no. up until the end when the poor Nazis were um, num know, captured. Number three was uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Get Dragon. Get out of here. I try to sit fucking, that. Stop with your fucking ar acrobatic Chinaman. I try to sit through that horseshit a bunch of times. Never made it. Uh, and what else? What do we got? Girl moans. To a city of uh, God. Didn't see that it. Was great. Didn't see it. Fucking great. About Brazil? Didn't see it. You're uh, going to like the number one movie, though, Jimmy. The this fucking connection. Uh, Lord, of the, Lord Rings. of the Rings. The Return of the sorry. King. Too Return bad. of the King. Return of the King was good. That you was should move Hurt Locker up that list. Two Towers. They didn't like Two Towers that much, uh, a lot mm. of these people. They like Fellowship and uh, King. Yeah. Where'd Two Towers end up? Oh, that's number 20. There it is, right there. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah. All right. It's our movie break, everybody. Uh, Sean in North Carolina. Sean. Hey, boys. Hey, oh, did you say about Schmidt is so bad that it's funny? <laughs> well, it movie's I, hilarious. I know it's hilarious, but I, I, I'm confused by that movie because I'm not really sure it was supposed to be funny because when I saw it, I was the only one laughing in the theater and I was howling and people were getting mad at me because I was laughing at, yeah. at parts, I guess, that were supposed to be really sad and then I'm thinking they did this on purpose and it's actually supposed to be funny. I don't know. I don't know the, what the answer is. 
Oh, God. Like I, when he goes home and his wife is dead with the one shoe off oh, and the vacuum the cleaner vacuum still going. on. I howled. Yeah, it's funny. I was pissing my pants. Every time I watch that movie, I piss my pants because it's freaking hilarious. That letter that he writes to that kid. Right. Oh, my God. That, that shit's a riot. What about when he tries to uh, take a look at his old childhood home and it's a tire store and he's trying to figure out where his bed was in the tire store? <laughs> now, was, was that supposed to be funny or was that supposed to make you really sad for this uh, character? Oh, it's like a pathetic... I think, I think the only thing that's sad is those dopes who watch that movie and think it's supposed to be sentimental. <laughs> that shit is a... Sentimental. Right. Because, yeah. I mean, at every turn, his life was getting worse and worse, which I found really funny. And he's just walking around with that stupid look on his face. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, that's a right. I really don't know because I it was when we were off the air, so I went and saw a lot of movies, and uh, I saw a lot of movies with old people because that's that was that's who your friends were. Uh, exactly, I played anyway. golf with old guys, and I went to the movies and saw a lot of old ladies. That was my thing. Yeah. That's the wrong crap for that movie. That movie's a fucking riot. Th- and Hurt Locker is shit. I don't know, man. I that was a good movie. Well acted, dude. It was good. Oh, yeah. I like Hurt, Hurt Locker, Locker a lot. Uh, hey, I'm, I'm in the Army, guys. Now man. that's why you didn't like it. I understand. A lot of military guys did not like that movie. Yeah, because it's not accurate, but, they say. But fuck blah, it. blah, blah. But for us uh, civilians, that movie was really yes. great. It's a great story. It's a great story. But they did it wrong because they tried to make. They tried to make the real shit way too real for how ridiculously crazy that story was. Don't worry it's a about great it. Story. Don't well, worry about it so much. It's like the new action adventure oh, guy I, I created. Turk? Um, <laughs> no. Oh. A new one? Yes. What happened to Turk February? This is even a better one. Yeah. Hey, Bill, sorry, Bill Tetley is my new action uh, uh, hero. Bill Tetley. Bill Tetley. Bill Tetley, like the T? <laughs> yes. And <laughs> that's it. That's it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> this is the Opie and Anthony Show. Serious XM. <laughs> hey, that's all right, man. No, I know. Turk, <laughs> Turk February is uh, Jimmy's action character. Sure yes, is. and he's now Turk got February. a he's got a song. That's like the opening theme song, almost yeah, like James Bondy. He's got a little James Bond thing and happening. I didn't even realize that was Danny. Yeah. I guess that karaoke's uh, suiting him well. <laughs> His hammy delivery of Turk February's theme oh. song is great. We Jesus. said this earlier. Ant said it. I said it. Breaking news. Roof collapse forces game uh, move uh, uh, to, to be moved to Detroit. Excuse me. Yeah. Uh, they're lining up already for their free tickets. Free tickets. Now They're uh, lining up yes. about 10 hours early to get their free tickets to see the game tonight. Well, they knew that nobody would want to go see... Uh, uh, the Vikings game, right? Um, in uh, Detroit, Vikings, Vikings Giants, Vikings Giants in Detroit. It's like who, who gives a shit? So they decided to give away what the a tickets. Oh my dear! So I'm just I'm just, I can't wait for the riot footage. There's nothing wrong with giving away free tickets. I love that idea. Yeah, but you can't have people line up for free tickets. That's where the pr- the problem. You think there's is. a problem there. What do you, yes? How should they do it? Think the who? <laughs> well. As everyone pushes forward for their free tickets. Well, wait a minute. Now, they give the tickets out first. That's better than just opening the door. They're lining saying, up. What yeah. they should do is, if you're there already, give you a fucking ticket and say, that beat it, stupid. And now, But then again, these back. people probably are, are there early because they want to be real close to the field. They yeah. got a fucking problem on their hands, man. I can't wait to I'm see. I'm telling you, they got a fucking problem the on their hands. The awfulness that comes from this. They this got won't a end well. problem. This will not end well. Hey, uh, you see the UFC? I did not know. I was very busy Saturday. Good shit. How oh, uh, did St. Pierre win? I didn't. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, I didn't see it. Sure. Yeah. Mm. Damn it. The one good thing, Damn though, what happened? is that what? I'm satisfied with my Paul McCartney ticket seats. Yes, yes, yes. Very good seats. Oh, you guys wearing a suit. I'm not wearing a suit. You got to wear a suit. Why would you wear a suit? Because it's a, a big... It's not like you're going to fucking Molly Hatchet at the Long Island Arena. Are they this playing? Is, yeah, I had I had to stop and. Uh, Are you really? You're really wearing a suit. Yeah, yeah, or at least a jacket. I'm not wearing. I'm a wearing jacket. an Armani suit. I don't have the whole suit. Um, I have the entire suit. Because my tattoo that says "Suits are for fags" would look really silly. Ah. Uh. Yeah, you guys are really wearing suits, suit. or are you setting me up? No, I'm wearing That's a suit. I'm not wearing a suit. I got a suit right in no the suit. suit. Look, I have a suitcase here. It's a case for suit. It's all folded. It's in the name. 
Yeah, it's right it's in the all folded now. No, but it's in that little thing, that zipper thing, oh, that then folds fuck. into three little things and goes into the upper part of the... It's fantastic. I got to say, everyone says, Anthony, what kind of uh, luggage do you uh, use? And I use 511 tactical <laughs> luggage. <laughs> Where do you put the gun? This is... Uh, Where's actually... the compartment for the gun? Oh, there's plenty of room. Right up here. Right there would be one. Piece sure. Right up there. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, it's got all the webbing here for hanging various hand grenades and right, other things that. you might need during travel. Nice. Um, what about the wheels? Name tag for, to uh, I give uh, the name name to the next of kin if you're uh, shot or anything. And uh, the expander. I see the expander. It's, it's a wonderful uh, and and fits by the way perfectly the maximum allowable space for carry-on. Yeah, but I bet you they always tell you that's too big, and then nope. you have to explain it to them. I'll tell them. They know? Fuck off. That's what I say Ooh. at the airport. If anyone hassles me, I go, fuck off. I'm getting on the plane. And they go, we're sorry. And they let me through. Damn, see, that's the thing. You talk tough, and people respond. Oh, of course. Or maybe they're giving away the tickets, and now those people that showed up 10 hours early got really nice seats, and they could now go home. Like, maybe, how is this maybe. working? Does anyone know? We're, we can't watch TV I'm right sure now. We can just kind of look over and, and, and check out the headline real fast. I'm certain they know. Uh, yeah, our Ooh. seats are pretty good for tonight. Ooh. I'm very happy. Let's see. The Apollo That's Theater, just, Paul McCartney. What the hell is this? Come on. Celebrating 20 million subscribers. Oh, wow. Yep. Wow, we. Uh, let's go to Brian in Jersey. Brian? Oh. Hey guys. Uh, I saw Paul McCartney a couple years ago in Atlantic City. I mean, the music was just like listening to the CDs. It, it was cool. Um, the crowd was so not into it. And he he's a weird guy. He, he had, like, one bizarre story after another that had nothing to do with the music. And it, it just, like, ruined it in a way. How does it so, ruin it? You're watching a Beatle. Yeah. I don't know, man. He could shit on the stage. I'll be entertained. Yeah, exactly. It's a fucking Beatle. If he, actually, if he doesn't, it. I won't be. We're not, believe it or not, none of us were, you know, we're old enough that we actually saw the Beatles. This is like, this is cool. Yeah. You didn't see the Beatles live? No way. What's wrong with you? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see the Beatles live? Of course not. So, so I, he could tell whatever fucking dumb story he wants. I don't know, it was weird. It was like about a massage he got. I mean, it was beyond weird. It was. It was she wouldn't He's going to play yesterday. Shut up. She wouldn't put a finger in my bottom. <laughs> I was getting a massage. She wouldn't put it in my asshole. I'd rather see Jimmy Norton any day of the week. Well, you can see me at the Borgata Late Show January 15th, oh. bub. Oh. Tickets on sale at oh. Brewer, Atel, me, and Burr. All right. Oh. And it was the last show we are doing there. I love you guys. Thank you, bud. All right, let me, uh, All right. Let, me, let me say hi to Matt in Minnesota. Matt. Hey, guys. Um, what they're going to do with those tickets is anybody that has a ticket for the game yesterday that's supposed to be at the Metrodome is going to get a ticket. And then anybody that went to the Detroit game yesterday with their ticket stub can get a ticket or get in with that. And then all the people that are lining up now have to actually get a ticket. And when I saw the news this morning, they, were, they had probably 1,000 or 2,000 people standing in front of the stadium waiting for tickets. Well, wow. there's going to be some problems tonight. Oh, yeah. How many Vikings fans are making the trek? They they said that um, they've got a shuttle or a shuttle uh, plane going up there, two or three charter planes going, and they said people are driving in from New York to get free tickets. So how many hours from uh, Minnesota to Detroit? I have no idea. Fourteen, maybe. 12. Holy! <laughs> oh my hand! I, I missed the show earlier. Did you guys see, watch the video yet of the stadium collapsing? No, oh, what yeah. the fuck? Really? <laughs> yeah. You know what? I The news has been like holding back that or something because they haven't shown it once since we've been si sitting here. You oh, fucking you to, idiot. <laughs> if you go to any of the, uh, the Minneapolis news stations, they got Just video Just change the subject. So. Oh, really? So I'll go yeah, to the uh, Minneapolis news stations and they have it? Is the yeah, story but, national? Because uh, you'd think it would be all over the country. Yeah, for some reason we don't. We and don't. even in New York, since the Giants are <laughs> supposed to play there, you would think we'd seen it a thousand times. They're showing it right now as we yell at you. <laughs> You're yeah, the kind of guy uh, that tweets me fucking shit I saw ten weeks ago. That's the kind of guy you are. Oh, maybe. A bum. I'm sorry, I was so nasty oh. to you. I hung up on this guy, but he needed to call back because he thinks he's just terrific. Go ahead, uh, Chisel. Hey, yeah, uh, morning, boys. Hi, Chisel, my nizzle. Uh, remember, I hung up on you. <laughs> hey, uh, Jimmy, I got my tickets for uh, Saturday, so uh, coming Thanks. out for the weekend. Thanks, Ooh. buddy. Good. Looking forward to it. Uh, I heard you that uh, in the back news today that they were handing out American tourist luggage to all the uh, 
free tickets to uh, people waiting in line. What do you mean? Why for for what? It's like they're not. They, they're actually going into the movie. They're not going anywhere. I mean, to the uh, game. <laughs> well, I mean, you know, just so they can like you know handle the luggage a little bit. Um. The fucking people that work there, they, they know there's a big crowd coming. Yeah, we're kind of confused, sir. Yeah, they, I mean, they, they're expecting a, a big crowd. He hung up. I know. <laughs> we heard you. <laughs> Got it. It's fuck over the listeners. <laughs> Caller's day. He hung up on him twice, but he said, nope, my line uh, is too good. I got to keep calling until he, he picks up the phone. And no, it isn't Sam Snyder. It, it is American Tourister. That's yeah. a, a lot of people thought it was Sam misconception. Sam yes. I would have yes. said Sam Snyder, I think. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know I why it I got turned into Sam Snyder over the years, but it was American Tourister. That was being um, tossed around by that mammal in the uh, cage in the commercials. Let me go to Mongo. 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 Uh, you got it, uh, yeah. something to add, or is it the same thing that other guy said about the tickets uh, for the game tonight? Pretty much the same thing, but anybody that has a ticket gets preferred seating on the 50-yard line, so that ought to cause some, some stuff. The, uh, I heard the uh, roof of the, the Metrodome was brought down by the weight of Brett Favre's enormous ego. And you, I bumped. You, no, your phone. <laughs> your phone. Your phone crapped out. I wouldn't actually say your bar. What happened? Yeah. What'd you say, dude? Yeah, yeah right. That would be nice. <laughs> this guy hasn't missed a minute. You think you can get him with that? Uh, no, we almost had him. <laughs> oh, uh, let's go to Anton in uh, Sacto, uh, CA or something. Anton. 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 The great downtown. Uh, Anton. Anton. Anton who? His friends or something? <laughs> Anton. It's actually Anton. All yeah, right. We know. You can't just go with this. Go ahead. You bum. Yeah, I just want to let you know they were showing the dome collapsing here in Sacramento on the 6, 6 a.m. news. <laughs> this isn't happening, is it? You're not real, right? <laughs> Are you a hallucination <laughs> we're having? <laughs> oh. Oh. It was this morning, so I'm surprised you guys didn't see anything or haven't seen anything out here in the East Coast. <laughs> what roof collapsed, though, dude? I, I heard something, well, but no one will tell us which one. Yeah, they haven't shown it yet. Uh, how does it look? Because we haven't seen the video yet. They have that uh, that dome that's like uh, uh, parachute material, and they were showing it, like, bubble down, and then they just, this isn't real. It just spun onto the field, and that's about all I got. I Did the whole thing just fall down at once? Holy shit, the whole thing fell down? I didn't that's know That's what I heard. Did what, it just... why, what happened to it? Yeah. We know. We saw it <laughs> like a thousand times. Oh. Holy shit! Are you <laughs> stupid. <laughs> we just said it too. All right, thanks, Anthony. <laughs> Anthony, <laughs> thanks for nothing. <laughs> I can't believe, I thought he was goofing, <laughs> and then he's like, yeah, it's like a brute bird parachute material. Are there and really people out there that don't realize when something that big I happens don't. that it's shown on every newscast in the country? I don't there know. There are people that don't understand that. It's stunning to me. <laughs> come on. It's, I'm literally stunned. Come on. Get, get back, come on. Come on. Oh, my God. So are you wearing a suit or not? Hell yes. fucking no. Why no not? No fucking suit for Paul McCartney. Why not? It's not for Paul McCartney. It's the suit, like, you're going out to, like, a theater. We're going to the fucking Apollo. Yeah, but it's like for a... It's not like for fucking amateur night or nothing. I'm not you wearing know? a Do you think a lot of people suit. will be well-dressed? Probably. Fuck them. I don't care. Yeah, but I don't, I, it's I'm not my like own you person. don't care. But you just like, have a nice Armani suit you want to wear. Just, well, I understand. I have if, some other nice Maybe if I had an Ange Armani suit, maybe I would fucking wear it. Or Joseph Abood. I have a jacket. I'm not breaking out my wedding suit to go to a Paul McCartney Do you have, show. Uh, you have the wedding suit? Oh, my God. <laughs> People are on to me, too. They're yeah. like, fuck, how about you get a, uh, maybe oh. more than one suit? Oh. Troy wants to go to see him tonight. I, I'm going with my girlfriend. If I wasn't going with my chick, like if she had, to, uh, she might be uh, doing something tonight for work. Yeah. If she was working, I would take Troy, but I, I think she's going with me. Yeah, I would take Troy, Troy too, if I have know, anyone to go with. Troy ain't going to. No, she won't. He will. <laughs> he would do that. He would he anyway. Would, he would give well, you Let's ask Troy. He would give you guys ball jobs. He would give all three Where's of you ball jobs if one of you would take him. And I don't want I don't want radio answers. I, I'm sick of people go yeah because they want to say it for the radio because it's shocking. Troy, I, I think he's dressed don't, nicely just in case he gets to go. Don't give me a fucking radio answer. I hate Dude. that more than anything. It's like a slum. Would yeah. you? Let's give just it to say in two and two. Yeah. Let's just say uh, uh, Jimmy's got a Paul McCartney ticket for the Apollo tonight. Would you blow him because it's for the Paul McCartney tickets? Don't fucking say yes just because we're doing radio now. 
I probably wouldn't blow Jim. But, Whoa! <laughs> did you touch it? But uh, but uh, maybe maybe a handy. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Really? I thought, no, right? I mean I'm, I'm just I'm trying to get tickets to guy. It's it's impossible. Why won't so. they give you tickets? Uh, Isn't there like, someone who, around who, here that could give them give up their tickets? Who who am I? You know what I mean? Like, I like the attitude. Ah, uh, that's good. It's that's true. Nice self confidence you got there. Well, I mean, you know, I'm not. Not you guys. You guys are going to take boy, care of you guys. God. And uh... thank God. What? What's the matter? You don't get treated like shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, don't be fresh. Uh, but uh, I am being. Fresh. I don't know. Hopefully, something works out. I don't know. We'll see. If my chick wasn't going with me, I'd take you. But she is. Aw. No, that's cool. There was a lottery yeah. for employees that Troy was counting on, but he didn't win that lottery. No. 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 He no. Didn't. Who won the lottery? Oh boy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Someone that isn't going. Funny, you should ask. They take his tickets back. Yeah. <laughs> they did oh, they not did. do that. Uh, it just, it they just did got, not do it that. It got worse and worse. Who's no. ticket? Uh, they did not do that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Jimmy. <laughs> he actually. Can oh, you believe not that? Oh, oh, you can't give them away. Huh? So, so where are those going? You can't so who got them. those tickets? From my understanding, they went back into the pool. By the way, oh, the people out there... And then they're going to get all wet and ruined. But then how do you get in the back in the pool, then? Yeah. Back in the pool. Yeah, who, who then... <laughs> <Oof>. <laughs> My joke bomb. <laughs> yes, it wow. did. Wow. <laughs> are nice. they, are they going to get wet? <laughs> all wet. Like that joke. Except it's not wet with laughs. <laughs> it is the uh, the Apollo. Can I get a lime green suit? <laughs> Before oh, the you show should tonight? do that. That's racial. Valor. That would be funny. You wore like a felt hat and a big <laughs> feather. <laughs> Who is this bitch? Fuck that. How do you get back in the pool with the? You know how I back. dressed for my Jets game yesterday? That's how I dressed for Paul McCartney. No difference in my world. Yeah, I don't know. I just Why feel you like dressing up. What's wrong like, with you? I feel like being a uh, it's night out, night on a town. What would you wear to Paul town. McCartney, Troy? I don't know if I'd wear a suit. I don't know if it's a suit event. No, but, you can wear uh, what Troy's wearing a sweater. Yeah. Like if I, I would wear a nice shirt or something. I'm just wearing a jacket. Because my fucking fat stomach is so offensive, and I hate it so much that a shirt will just show it off, and it's all I'll think of. Is where's Keith Richards pinch my fat? I want to look like I belong there. Okay, so steal a suit. <laughs> 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 uh, uh, so where are those tickets? Someone Mer else got them? <laughs> well, if they if they went back in the pool. Yeah. I, I doubt How, that they would oh, they be. They'd go wet. to me. I, I doubt yeah, that. Yeah, that's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> I'm gonna get away from the pool water or something. <laughs> uh, Did they draw another? Now, one why would they draw? The winner? tickets would be no good if they drew them, because <laughs> that would be like they were stolen. Yeah, I'm not quite sure. I just looked funny. into it to see what happened, and they said that. Um, yeah, if there were two tickets that no longer could be used, yeah, then who got those two tickets? Next of kin. Can't they just give Next you one? Next of kin. <laughs> give them a ticket. Mm. I believe HR was the, they were taking Get care out. of Get who out. was, Get uh, out. Puff and stuff? Get out. who was giving the time. tickets away. Get out. They shouldn't have any <laughs> responsibility for who's Yeah, why giving is HR giving out the tickets? They were well, the ones that were, that were doing the, the lottery pool. It is a big inner, I mean, a lot of people who work for the company would want tickets. Of course. So. I thought HR was for the skirt chasers. They handled this type of thing, too? They yeah. handled the lottery. For the ass pinchers. Yeah, the ass pinchers. Yeah. The butt slappers. Yeah. The uh, hey, honey, nice. Wait, gams. human resources does more than that. I but always they, thought they that's all they did. A lot of legal stuff, and this would definitely yeah, like the skirt chasers to make sure it's fair. That's to make why. sure it's fair. Yeah. yeah, am I right or wrong? The you are correct, Mister. The, the pull down the panties and jump on the copier people. Okay, right. I understand. What you're <laughs> they getting. deal with those people. The yeah. Christmas party sexual assault, all <laughs> right. boozed up. Right. right. Okay, I'm right. starting to understand. <laughs> <laughs> Still not quite you know. sure, though. I, I, I really didn't know. They did other things. Yeah, the, saying, hey, yeah. secretary, you want to take some oral dictation for me? <laughs> That's oh, right. And then you know, you, that, and then they make a joke about hey, it. Hey, honey. Sucking yes. dick. And yeah. then there's hobnobbing yeah, yeah. going on. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hobnobbing. Yeah, yeah. Dictation. Right, That's right. Right. I didn't know they did lotteries. Fuck. They got the lotto. Can we get some numbers? Well, they have a lotto tickets. Mm. <laughs> oh, wow. oh, that was good. I didn't think you could top the pool, but wow, <laughs> that's a good one. Uh, yeah. Well, they're gonna ask the Tommy Lee's house in the pool than my joke. <laughs> Troy is shit out of luck, people. How do you like that, yeah. Troy? Huh? I still haven't heard back from my chick, but I, I have a feeling she is going tonight. Who else is going? That like I just who's don't know. the closest people to this show besides us that are that are going? Probably the janitors and other scum. <laughs> is it? The one person it. we're not talking about. Right. Eventually we will. Who, who was lucky enough to so win. Don't worry about that. And then couldn't go. Yeah, he's not gone. 
And who else? No. The, well, exe- a lot of the executives are going. Like so, uh, E-Rock? How, since when is E-Rock an executive? <laughs> In his mind. Exactly. The it's word executive mind. isn't anywhere near E-Rock. It's the executive. God forbid I make E-Rock feel good for once and well, you have to fucking knock him down to earth. I didn't want him to think he was getting a promotion. Uh, Steve Blatter. I would assume he will be there. Um, Gary? Gary? Gary's there now, I think. Is Gary probably. going? Gary probably, yes. All right. What's his new name? Egghead? I call him Mr. Show and Winner. I don't oh know what you guys... Oh, my! <laughs> I just call him Gary. Oh, okay. Gary. Hey, yeah. Uh, I would um, imagine Scott Greenstein, of course. Sure, yes. Yes, of course. Um, Andrew Moss, who's the, I believe, CFO, will be going. Will Howard Stern be Oh, going? yes. Um, will, and and will various... Lovely Robin Quivers. Yes, various members of the Howard Stern Show are going. Ah, support staff? Or just Some, the, yes. the key players? There are, I, it is my understanding that Will there... Ira be going <laughs> to see Paul McCartney? I don't think Ira is going. At the Apollo <laughs> Theater <laughs> under clear skin? I don't think Ira is going. No, Ira? But we owe it to Terrible. Bobo to try to get him Dude. a ticket. Oh, sure we do. Dude, they protect Ira around here like he's a mob guy going on trial. We can't get close to the fucking I haven't guy seen anymore. Him. He's on, on the fucking show protection program. I'm not even joking. You walk by that uh, studio you and you him. see him in there, but then all of a sudden they get him in and out of here without uh, having any type of contact with us. Jay Thomas? Jay Thomas going? That is not confirmed. I don't know. Uncle. Uh, cousin, cousin, uncle. <laughs> cousin Brucey. Cousin Brucey. I would Brucey. assume that Cousin Brucey has cousin the option of going. Cousin Brucey. He's got oh, a relationship. Who probably knows Paul McCartney. Oh, yes. He met all Beatles many times. Scott Muni. I don't know if Scott Muni's going. His skeleton. <laughs> yes. Will Earl be bringing his skeleton to the show? I don't think for Earl, a reunion. I don't think Earl gets to go. Oh, Clickety clacking Scotso's skeleton up on stage. Although I wouldn't be surprised if Eric managed to nagle his way into some tickets and hasn't told anybody about it. Would you be surprised? I not would at all. So not be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if he's got tickets. Nagle. You got. You Are got you tickets? going? Are you going? No, I do not have tickets. Wait, are you going? Does your wife have tickets or friends have tickets? Anyone you know have tickets? Anyone you know besides us? No. So you are 100% not going tonight? That is correct. Okay. You want to buy tickets? Sure. Scalp them. (laughs) I should scalp them out front. (laughs) Tickets, tickets. Is that tempting to see the tickets right there? Yeah, I was looking at them. I was scoping them out. Sad clown. Just nah, grab them with tickets, dude. You wouldn't even be able to see on the floor there, right there. Yeah, we're not close Ooh, enough. These are good seats. Sorry. <laughs> we checked them out. They are right on the floor. They're great. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Well, have fun, guys. Yeah, we're orchestra oh, we will. seats. Orchestra seats are like, you know, good seats. I just got some good news for Troy. What? The concert is being broadcast live. You can listen at home on <laughs> Sirius oh, XM. That's right. That is right. Excellent. Live. <laughs> Cool. Band on the run radio. Uh-huh, you don't rate. <laughs> <laughs> so now, uh, what are we good. gonna get? Are we gonna get some Beatles? Are we gonna get some Wings? Yeah, are I would we assume getting some solo material. Are we getting everything up until that stupid ukulele song? I was gonna say that would be what he would start if with. He opens assume. with that ukulele song. I'm walking out. That's I the closer. I'm walking out. Everybody gonna I, dance tonight? Everybody gonna dance tonight? No, we're I, not. I heard it, boy, Sam. I heard he's ending with that, starting with uh, yesterday. Here's that. The second I hear this, here's what comes out of my mouth. I gotta go take a piss. Watch my seat. <laughs> Do you like this song, Troy? This album was okay. This song isn't that good, but the album that he did after this one with his band called The Firemen is excellent. It's probably really? the, his greatest work since he's since the Beatles, in my opinion. You know something? I have no clue what the guy has done lately. <laughs> I'm just going to the show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, he was good in the Beatles. Wait, wait, wait. Let's yeah, go. To yeah, whatever. Let's go with the Troy thing for a second. Whatever, Troy. I don't know what he's been up to. If but I meet I'm going, yeah. <laughs> my goal is to meet McCartney, and I have a couple of calls in. I probably won't be able to Did pull Did you bring him some books? Your tool? <laughs> yeah, they're his. <laughs> they are true. All I bring him to... Ozzy books, you idiot. That's all I want to do is tell him that he should do a duet with Ozzy. <laughs> oh. That's all I want to suggest to him is I would love you to do a duet with Ozzy. <laughs> Why are you pimping for Ozzy? Because it would make Ozzy happy. Would it? No. Aww. I want to go to this concert now. It's a good song. Right, Troy? Troy? No, it's not it's, bad, I mean, it's not bad. It's it bad. I, McCartney really doesn't have bad songs. But The Fireman, that album is incredible. It really is a good record. So I'd oh, recommend Fireman. checking it out. Yeah. He'll probably do Sing the Changes tonight. Sing the Changes? Yeah. Do we have that in the system? That's good. Was that done uh, on Apple Records back in 68? No. Then we don't want to hear it. The Fireman was actually the last record that he put out. 
And uh, he did it with this guy named Youth. I forget what band All he was in. All you but... need to do is play your old songs. <laughs> da, 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 da. All you need to do is play your old songs. <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday, you wrote the songs we wanted to hear. Nothing from today after 1970. <laughs> do you think they deserve to see this concert, uh, Troy? Uh, it's, it's painful. <laughs> it's painful. <laughs> like, oh, I don't care. Band on the Run came out what after the doing? Stuff. Right, here it is. Uh, uh, do you want to see Miss Wings? <laughs> love, love the old songs. Yeah. I hope he plays the old songs. Yeah. I just want to hear his old songs. So please play your old songs. <laughs> If he does the concert chronologically, will you guys go home early? Oh, yep. fuck yeah, I'm out of there. <laughs> fuck yeah. I'm out of there in 1976. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll wait Side outside, hand me your tickets. I'll jump Empty in for the Empty seats in the house. That's it. You'll make it to 76, you think? Oh, please. Mm. Oh. I wonder how much time he does. I heard 52 minutes. Someone's <laughs> walking out the door. It's Anthony because I'm playing new songs. <laughs> Someone's walking out the door. Because my new album, it smells... <laughs> It just rhymed. Yeah, of course. <laughs> we just, he that's... may do like three hours. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's I mean, I hear a lot of things, so. Yeah, I know. Who told you that? Say. I don't remember. I don't yeah. think there's an opening act. Yeah, there is an act. They want oh, me to do a few silly, minutes. Love yeah. Wow, it's so cool. Jimmy's doing a few minutes tonight. Yeah, it'd probably be funny. Yeah. I'd love to do a few minutes. Uh, you can definitely get to meet him. Yeah. Not after my... Before the set. Before. Again. Da, 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 everybody! I want to hear old songs! <laughs> what are None of the new shit I... What? Where are Seinfeld's going? Uh, you think? Probably hook him up with a ticket, but definitely faster than they get Troy. Troy. No, I would, I would take, take Jerry. I'd leave my girlfriend home. Would you? <laughs> she would be in her dress. I'd be like, look, Jerry wants to go. And, and he would sit there, and then the whole time he'd be like, could I just watch this? Could you not talk to me? I'm not going to ask anybody Seinfeld questions. I don't could know anybody you, on that show. Would you blow off your just... girlfriend for Troy? I would rather go. It's not that I don't love my girlfriend, but she's not a huge fan. <laughs> oh, that makes it worse. Like, I'd, rather go, I'd actually rather go with Troy. But... I have I'm, to go I'm available. Yeah, I'm Troy, available for anything. Troy can explain all the songs for you and everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah but if I need a picture taken, though, Troy wouldn't want to take it. He would want to be in it. So that's why my girlfriend has to that's come. That's true. Troy yeah, is selfish but, like that. If but I need the photo. If you got me into the concert, I would take the picture. And if your true. girlfriend screws the picture up, you could punch her, too. Right. You can't really punch her. What are we allowed Troy? to bring in? Are we allowed to bring in our HD flips? Yeah, you could bring in video equipment and stuff. <laughs> Oh, really? Do you know <laughs> I'm gonna set how <laughs> fucking taboo? Awesome. I'm going to set up a four-camera shoot. Yeah, it's you're going to be to take want. a picture in that fucking place? Anything you want to do. No really? photography. Nice. I bet you can. Of any kind. You think they're going to say no camera? No. No. Sometimes. Because yes. when I saw Paul before, I mean, everybody was taking pictures. Yeah, where? My dad brought in a big camera to take pictures with it. Yeah, we can bring in a camera. They're not as strict with cameras anymore because every fucking phone has it. It's a it's a no win. They, they, they don't. You they used to start. Remember, you couldn't bring cameras into concerts. Now everybody has a fucking video camera. They don't care anymore. HD mm -hmm. flip. You just it, it's like they've given up on the fucking tonight. All right, fight. I'll 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 see. I'll, I'll I'll wonder about that. And because uh, Paul had actually had wanted to get tickets to see me and Jim Brewer and David Tell and Bill Burr at the Borgata Late right. Show, but I said tickets are selling fast. Fucko, too bad. <laughs> <laughs> Fucko. <laughs> I said that whole part. Not not to Paul McCartney. To my dad. Troy, you excited? You might get to hear this song live tonight? He won't do this one. I mean, uh, on the radio. Troy, you might be in if I can't find a babysitter. Just give me a call, man. Huh? I'm ready to go. Can I go? I, I'm available. Uh, yeah, Sam. Uh, yes! Why would you go the Sam? Fun. Yeah, what do you... Dude, you don't even give a shit. Yeah, but still... Well, you get into mean, arguments. All, he doesn't even care. Yeah, but some of the Beatles Sam, songs... Sam, name so one Paul McCartney song. Uh, Yellow Submarine. Nice. Uh, Good so, job. Right. I just got the response from my girlfriend. I, I said, uh, do you still want to go tonight? And she wrote, yes. So I wrote, Sorry. Oh, Sorry, buddy. You're out. I would have taken you if she didn't want to go. But yes. Or she, Sorry, today. Tom, you're out. Yeah. Yeah, yesterday. That's another. I love that one. That's a good one. So I'm looking forward to this. But, but that wasn't, I mean, Paul wrote the song, but right. that wasn't, he didn't he sing Yellow didn't Submarine. Sing it. No. Right. No. Troy, no. Name, it's a Ringo song. Could you name 20 oh. Paul McCartney songs in 30 seconds? Okay. Ready? <laughs> go! Hold on, hold on. <laughs> go! Yes. And go.
Band on the Run. Uh, um, uh oh. My love. Hold on. My love. Sing the changes. Too late. My love. We're going to give you one more shot. You You panicked. You named one in two hours. All right, here we go. Two, one, go. Band on the Run, My Love, uh, Uncle Albert, huh? Sing the Changes, um, Dance uh, Tonight, uh, uh, Let Me Roll It, um, uh, um, oh. Mrs. Vanderbilt. Uh, What's that? Uh, Why wouldn't you do Beatles? Oh, you want oh. me to do Beatles? Oh. <laughs> All right, start off. Oh, my this God. I thought shot. we were just this this last shot at anything this. Anything Paul wrote right. or said. This is the last shot at it, okay? This is very important. Can you do uh, 20 songs in 30 seconds? And they could be the Beatles? Uh, right, here so. we go. <laughs> and okay, huh? go! Yesterday, Here, There, and Everywhere, uh, Yellow Submarine, uh, uh, Lovely Rita, Sergeant Pepper, uh, Little Help from My Friends, uh, Birthday, uh, Back in the USSR, um, Martha, My Dear, uh, Let It Be, Get Back, um, 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 uh, 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 I'm just, I'm just I'm, oh my god, the fucking uh, question. Uh, <laughs> uh, come on. Uh, she came in through the bathroom window. Uh, uh, silly because, love song. What are we at? Uh, Three hours, eight uh, minutes. How many, how many songs None. did I get? Watch your ticket. How many did I give go, you? Watch your ticket go in my pocket. That's it. Oh, yeah, there's oh. a chance for a ticket for I think you. You got about 12. Oh, I, all right. Not even close. Not even close. Yeah. Obviously, well, not, a, trying, obviously not a big fan. I got Yellow jing, Submarine. Jing, jing. Obviously not a big fan. Everybody gonna be on. I was trying to give you the songs that Paul actually wrote and he sang. So, oh, yeah, well. well that show was off. your mistake. Yeah, exactly. Didn't work out too well. Doing 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 I can't wait. <laughs> I can't not take my girl. I gotta take her, but I, I, would, I wish Troy could go with me. Babysitters are tough to get. I'm going with Opie. That's right. Aw, oh, shit. It's gonna be fun. If yeah, we get... didn't even ask about that. Are you, are you taking your uh, young lady? Mm -hmm. Yes. Unless we can't find a babysitter. Did you get a sitter? You well, should no. try it earlier. Is Sam going to sit Sam? for you? <laughs> yeah. Troy, can, can you babysit? <laughs> oh, oh, God. Dude, could you babysit? Because I got you a know, great show. You know, I'm going to the Paul McCartney <laughs> show tonight. Uh, How would you like to babysit? Huh? <laughs> what? If you go, so help me God. You don't deserve to be there. You shouldn't be there. I'm a serious XM employee. Troy, you work for the show, right? Yeah. You have to babysit yeah. so I could go. Oh, it's only fair. Jesus, that is. I got XM throughout the house. That's horrible. <laughs> if I got to go to the concert, it would just be to celebrate the 20 million subscribers. Right. Whoever's on yeah, the stage doesn't a make a difference doesn't really to matter. me. Matter. Who cares? Maybe Jay Z will come out with that. It. Would be amazing. Wouldn't that be something? Jay Z. A Lil Wayne. That would be huge. <laughs> that would make me want to go. Yeah, bad. yeah, yeah. Bad. I've had, do I have uh, something to um, do over yes, there? Yes, one more. I might as well just uh, Good luck just to you, talk Troy. because I just talk about this. Yeah, it's not even yeah. like it's not anything that I just like talking about things heating up this holiday season. You know, yeah. why don't I have a little? I'd like a little background, something to some to something festive would be nice. Yes, you know something. You want to heat things up, don't you? Send your girly. Her uh, footy, hoodie, footy pajamas. Hoodie, footy pajamas. It's only available from Pajamagram, you know. Pajamagram.com. Go there. The hoodie, footy combines the warmth of a hoodie with the coziness of a footy. Now, <laughs> footy pajamas, they're so cute. So it'll keep her warm from head to little tootsies. Now, for a limited time, Pajamagram.com is offering the sweet and sexy set. Get this. It includes something sweet for her. The new hoodie, footy. To keep her warm. And then something sexy, the Midnight Fantasy short set. Oh, my God, to really heat things up. Buy the sweet and sexy set today and save $50. $50. Pajamagram, they got over 100 styles to choose from, everything from naughty to nice and comfy to sexy. Each pajamagram is delivered in a very beautiful little gift hat box with lavender bath confetti that you can throw around the bathtub. And a do not disturb sign and a gift card for free. Overnight and Christmas delivery guaranteed. I can't stress that enough. Christmas delivery. You can look like a hero, my friends. Visit pajamagram.com or give them a call. 1-800-G-I-V-E-P-J-S. That's 1-800-GIVE-PJs.